Hi, everybody. This is GM John Fedorovich. Welcome to um, ICC's Simul Master Series. Um, I'm taking black today, so I hope you guys take it easy on me. It should be a lot of fun. It's a different kind of Simul, that's for sure. And um, the Simuls are hard enough when I'm playing white, so I can't imagine what this is going to be like. So let's, uh, like uh, Sandro said, let's get ready to rumble. So good luck to everybody. Have a good time. And um and take it easy on me because the simul where the sign will give us black is very hard. That's why you don't see it too often. But uh, it's a different thing to do, and and it, and it should be a lot of fun. And uh, I could practice. I, I, I it's always good to practice the black openings now anyway. So so uh, uh, looking looking forward to uh, to it starting. All right, let's get going here. And uh, all right, tired dad. Welcome to, it's good to see you again. And we'll wait for somebody to move. Tire Dad started off with C4. And um, I've been uh, practicing the Tartikover variation. I've taught it so much that that's what I've been doing lately. Looks like Sox Gambit could be the same kind of thing. Let me think here. Should I do that or should I try something else? For a Red Sox fan, it would be nice to come up with something different. All right, so I I'm, I think I'm going to go knight f6. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Dark knight, 38a. I don't think we've ever had the pleasure of playing before. So I'm pretty much a Sicilian guy, so there might be a lot of Sicilians today. Um, I still play the Benko Gambit from time to time. And and Grunfeld and stuff. Made or die, uh, another Sicilian. Knight f3, Eric Moore has played on, on, on uh, move one, and I will uh, play knight f6. Uh, we'll see how that turns off. Lufus, strong player, 22-63. And I'll go knight f6 there, too. Counterattack, e4. I'll play another Sicilian. I have to see. Uh, Merlin says, thanks for the possibility to play against me. Thank you, Merlin, for playing. And um, and I think Merlin's from Germany. And uh, I used to live near Cologne. So uh, welcome to the Simul from Germany. I hope you're... Uh, uh, do me a favor, enjoy a few big, nice beers while you're playing, and help me out. So Merlin's uh, uh, played D4, move one, and I'll play Knight F6 there. Uh, no main line, waiting for his first move. So far, it's a mixture of uh, of D4s and E4s, and and back to Merlin. Merlin, I played Knight F6. Uh, Riverdale, Bronx, and, and uh, hope that, yeah, everything's pretty good in Greenwich Village. It's a nice day outside. And we're playing chess, but that's okay. So welcome to the Simul. Uh, Riverdale's a nice place where I lived in the Bronx. wasn't wasn't all that well. It was nice for a while anyway uh, um, in the South Bronx. Okay, loud state we've played before. E4, C5. I'm getting going to get some nice Sicilian practice today. Rainbow Bear, another Sicilian. Moro Russian. Uh, um, Knight of six, and Mater die. So we're back to the top of the order. And uh, and I think I'm going to mix up the Sicilians today. Pretty much, I've been a night or player, uh, mix, mixed in with uh, some other stuff. Lufus, I'm going to go d5, and dark knight 38a. Um, also, I think I'm going to play d6 there. I'm going to try and mix up these Sicilians, and uh, and see how it goes. So far, nothing bad has happened to me. Merlin has gone. Uh, D4, Knight F6, Bishop F4. So I think that I'm going to probably play a Queen's Indian type of setup against that. Counterattack, uh, threatening me th with the possibility of a Smith Moore Gambit. Rainbow Bear, uh, I'm going to have to Knight F3, D6. We'll see if we get some open Sicilians. Sox Gambit, after all this talking, I mean, this one's for the Red Sox and all this. They didn't even make the playoffs. And then he plays C3 on move two. Boo. So I'm going to, I think I'm just going to go into some sort of, let me see. Should I go for a King's Indian setup or just go D5 and be very solid? I always like the Queen's Indian setups too. So I'm going to go E6, keep some options open. Pasqualino, uh, pulling to C4. I think I'm just going to go E6. And Jester back to the top of the order. I'm going to play C5. And maybe get a Benko Gambit or maybe some sort of Hedgehog or something like that. Um, uh, Eric Moore, um, let's see. the. Uh, let's see. Um, now, I have to ask Sandro something here. 
I'm going to ask Sandro if the time limit was right. I, I I wasn't sure if there was like some kind of odds thing today or not. So, so hold on here while I do this. Uh, was it a 60-60 simul today? Was that the right time control? Uh, it says 60-60 on all the clocks I'm seeing. Okay. All right. Very good. So, so, uh, up and Talakin has come in late. So welcome. We've played a million times before first time white. So it's a different perspective completely. I don't have to worry about whether I played something against people before. So I, I really don't mind these simuls with black. It's kind of an interesting thing actually. And, and it's always good. You know, it's always good for practice. Uh, Eric Moore, uh, C4, Knight of three, some cattle and stuff might happen. Loud say he's gone for F4. Uh, E4, C5, F4, he's played a um, a Grand Prix. Usually in the Grand Prix, the people have been playing Knight C3 first. Uh, and, and I thought that from many years ago, the, it, the reason was they were afraid of this D5 move for black. So I'll do that and see what happens. Lufus has played Bishop G2. I'm setting up for a London system. Major Die has just played... Played... Um, C3, and I will... I, I usually turn down that gambit. The... I, I hate accepting the Smith Moore gambits. I've never been good at accepting gambits. Maybe it goes back to playing the Benko. So I'm just going to play Knight of Six. And that's not a Smith Moore. That's a C3 Sicilian, but it comes to be the same thing. Okay, uh, C4 from Cybernian. D4, D5, Knight of Three, C4. And and I would just go E6. And I never played the Slav, unfortunately. The Slav is a very good opening, those variations. Uh, and and we have from counter attack we have our the our first Smith Moore. I'm going to decline it with Knight of Six. Rainbow Bear waiting for his move, and it switched boards just I was making Knight of Six against against this. Uh, uh, Sandro was checking on the time limit because it was supposed to be like a odds kind of thing, but it says an hour, so we'll see if that can be fixed. If not, no big deal. We'll just play our usual speed in the simul and see what happens. So uh, a mixture of Sicilians, Queen's Gambit types of things, maybe a chance for a Benko or two. And uh, the, and I, I don't know. I mean, sometimes when um, somebody once notified me that my scores in U.S. championships, I think, um, I, I think they told me I played in 21 U.S. championships, 20 or 21, and... My scores with my score with white was something like um, seventy two percent. My score with black was like something like I don't know, maybe it was forty three percent, something like that. And I thought, well, I'm just much better with white than black. And it depended. Sometimes it was, you know, the problems were. I I think one of the problems was my stubbornness of playing the King's Indian. Playing a King's Indian in a round robin tournament uh, sometimes was not a good idea. So Rainbow Bear, E4, C5, Knight of 3, D6, Bishop, C4. Um, I don't mind the Knight, C6, Sozans, so I'll just play Knight, C6. And now um, Knight, at back to counterattack. I'm going to decline the Smith Moore with Knight of 6. Sox Gambit, I'm just going to get into some kind of um, Queen's Indian type setup. Jester, no Benko Gambit. Jester has played D takes C5. And, uh, and, and I'm pretty sure my best move there... Is, uh, is just to go e6 and recapture with the bishop. Um, usually this type of stuff doesn't really promise w too much of an advantage. Uh, I know I know I played knight a6 also. I think they're all pretty good replies. Um, I, I think that probably e6 is the most straightforward, though, and it could get into some sort of hedgehog position. So, uh, Jester, I'll play e6. Uh, made or die, we're getting into the uh, C3 Sicilian Smith Moore decline type of position. Eric Moore, I'm just going to go s straight out regular Queen's Indian. Same with Pas uh, sorry, not Queen's Indian, Queen's Gambit. Same for Pasqualino. Counter attack, we're getting into the uh, de uh, decline Smith Moore. Same position as the C3 Sicilian in the other game. Knight of six against Dark Move. And then Lounce, the thing with Lounce's p position is. After e4, c5, f4, d5, it's it's allowing me some nice stuff. What it, what, it, what it is allowing me really is it's giving me an option. Now, if I'm not a French defense player, 
but I know enough about it. And also, I know that if you allow me to get a French defense with my bishop outside the pawn chain, it's got it's got to be a good thing. So um, I I think probably good reply for me there. Uh, bishop to b5, bishop to f5 probably, or knight c6 delaying it, and and then coming up with something else. All right, Jay Russell has just arrived at the Simul. He played e4, so another Sicilian. So I'm getting tremendous practice today in the Sicilians. No main line has gone uh, g3. I played knight f6. He went bishop g2. So I guess what that that should be maybe another Catalan type of position. And Lufus uh, getting into a um, in, into the London system with black. Uh, now Cybernian has done something weird here. Um, D4. Now Queen B3 moves are usually pretty good against the the um, the type of opening that we play Queen B3 against. Usually the Slav, and I've played Queen B3 or Queen C2, but against the regular the regular um, Queen's Gambit with E6, Queen B3 strikes me as as a little bit odd. Uh, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do there. I'm, I'm leaning towards just normal development. And, or, or I, I don't know if it's possible, something like C5 to, to put pressure on it, but I, I think Bishop E7 seems, seems like a decent thing to do. Um, I saw a game once where I thought when the queen went to B3 that C5 was maybe an interesting move. Uh, the idea would be to, uh, Put pressure on uh, on d4 since I haven't moved the c pawn yet. I think I'm going to give c5 a try and be aggressive with black with that with that move. All right, Moro Russian. I think I'm going to see whether he wants to play a queen's Indian or or a um, a Benko kind of setup. You know, um, or or a, a, a um, okay. Now dark knight. What are we getting into here? I think I'm going to try knight orf. Merlin, uh, we're going to get into a Queen's Indian, but his setup is passive because his bishop's on e2 instead of uh, instead of being on on d3, where it's a little more aggressive. Made or die, uh, exchange on d4, and that Smith Moore declined. Doctor Strange move. Welcome to the Simul, and uh, and he played knight f3, and I'm going to reply knight f6. So I think I'm pretty happy when I get these London system setups. Um. Um, it's nice because the bishop is outside the chain, and uh, which is which is sometimes the problem in the, in the London system. You know, in other queens' gambits, the bishop gets stuck inside inside the chain, and 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 that and that creates that's when that's when the problems start. So now I have to see what to do in this game against Lao Tse. Um He's trying to build a center with the, with with pawn to d4. Do I just want to go bishop to f5 here? Um, there's other moves. I think I think here Bishop F5 looks like absolutely the right thing to do. So get into maybe some sort of exchange variation uh, where my bishop is outside the chain. Lupus was we're in the early going of a London system. Moral Russian allowing me to play a Nimzo with Bishop to B4. Pascalino's heading for possibly an exchange variation. Uh, Merlin, uh, that's another Queen's. Uh, gambit with, uh, with uh, well, it's a Queen's Indian, very slow setup for white, sort of like a Collie system. Bishop on f4, though, so that helps white. h3 from Dark Knight, and and uh, the, I, I used to go e6, g4, d5, but lately I've been doing knight c6, so I'm going to do that. Uh, Doctor Strange move, I think I'm going to go for another Queen's Gambit. Tired Dad, I'm going d5 on move two. A lot of Queen's Gambit, so good practice. Sox Gambit, h3, good move, so that he, he can keep his bishop. Right after bishop e7, knight h5 was becoming a threat. Good move order for white. I'm going to go pawn to c5. Jester, I'm going bishop takes c5, taking my bishop back. I think that black's got to already be comfortable there. And bishop g5 from uh, Cybernian, and let's see what's going on there. So that was uh, that's that's in, in, the, uh, in the Queen's Gambit where he played queen to b3. And an and interesting move, and I, I don't know. I've seen Queen C2 play the type moves played in that position, but Queen B3, I'm not really sure that, that I've ever seen it, to tell you the truth. Um, 
feels like a bad mixture, but it's up to me to try and take advantage of it. So bishop g5 getting the bishop outside the chain. And let me think about this now. I'm, I'm thinking about knight, the, the normal moves for me to play here are knight c6. Um, pawn I, I don't know pawn takes c4. I'm not chasing the queen around at all. I don't know if queen a5 does anything. Um, I, and, and bishop g5 does have, does have the idea that he's threatening to maybe take on f6 and take on d5. So I have to see how to do this. Um, pawn takes d4, I think sort of feels like the right thing to do here. And then to hit at the center. Lufus is after my bishop early with knight h4. I'm going to go bishop g4. If he wants my bishop, he can chase me around. Uh, Pasqualino, we're in the exchange variation. And Dr. Strange move, I'm going to go for Queen's Gambit 2. Pawn to d4 from Lao Tse. And let's see what, what the deal with that is. Um, so now, does he have to be careful? Well, I mean, I, I it's too early for me, really, to start hassling him. I don't have enough development to start bothering him with, with, with knights getting to c2 and whatnot. So, so the question there is that, Okay, after bishop f5, he played d4. Um, obviously, the, the moves I'm thinking about here are just e6 or pawn takes d4. And 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 I have to see, are there, are there any ideas of getting like a queen to b6, putting some pressure on his position? Or, or should I just go e6? It may all come out to be the same, pretty much. So, uh, because I think if I go e6, I don't think he's going to be taking on c5, so that looks good. Okay, no main line is is playing a very non-committal move order, and and I guess I'll just go c6 and play uh and, and and play a regular kind of try to play another London system there. Castles from Merlin, and I'll do the same. Lufus is chasing my bishop around. Um, Mater dies, gone. C takes d4, and I'll reply d6. I like the lines with d6 because I I get to. Uh, when in, in the lines with d6, what happens is is that I've some in some lines my bishop can come out to f5 or g4. I prefer those over the lines where my bishop gets stuck on c8, blocked by a pawn on e6. Okay, Pasqualino's gone bishop to uh, gone bishop g5 and e3. So we're in the normal exchange variation there. Uh, knight bd2 from Sox Gambit, all castle. Doctor Strange move. Uh, I think we're getting into a Tartakover also. Uh, A3 from Lao Tse and decent move. Stopping, stopping knight d4, knight b4 is from happening. Um, the only big question there is can I, what is, is that, can I make some, uh, double attacks on him? This is the question here I'm, I'm looking at. Um, I'm thinking of playing, I'm thinking of going c takes d4 or queen b6. Um, if I go queen b6 right away, I don't know if it makes a difference. Um, sometimes black doesn't want to take so fast on d4 because the knight comes to c3, but I'm thinking of just bothering this d4 pawn right away. Um, I think I'm going to go for c takes d4 and, and play for rapid development there. Knight c3 from Jester, and I think I'm just going to go b6. It's going to be another kind of Queen's Indian position. Talikin's gone d4, knight f6, knight c3. I'm just going to go d5. Uh, unless you're a perk player, d5 is absolutely forced. And now f4 from Lupus. So Lupus has come up with an interesting idea there. He's trying, he's trying to hassle my, my, my bishop. It's become like a Dutch defense position. And, and we have to see what is, the question is, what is happening to my bishop there? In, uh, um, he, in some, in some variations, He's he's going to trap my bishop, and I have to be take really good care here not to lose that bishop early in this game. So he chased my bishop around. Uh, first he he chased it to h5, and then he's played the move f4. So I have to be really careful about how I go about this. Um, there there are some uh, um, interesting possibilities for me to do this. Um, I have I can come out fast with bishop c5 check. A safe move could could be here 
Um, I know in on a, in another position, if he was going to go G4, like right right instead of F4, if he went G4, I would go Knight of D7. So I think probably I should go Knight of D7 there, uh, um, stopping G4 pretty much because the Queen takes H4. So that that looks reasonable. Okay, Dark Knight has gone H3, Knight C6, Bishop to E3, and now I have to see what sort of possibility, um, uh, what kind of possibilities do I have here? Um, I usually in these things I would go, I would go E5. Uh, but the thing is, I, I move my A pawn already. I don't know. Sometimes in these in, in these positions, the A pawn does move twice. So, so after bishop to e3, if I were to go e5 and chase his knight backwards, that's that's a pretty interesting thing. Um, I, I I'm leaning towards e5 more than e6, although in 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 um in the e6 thing, the h3 could be a tempo down over the carries attack. So some some interesting possibilities here. So let, let me figure this that one out. Um. E, the question is e6 or not i think actually i, I think i'm going to go for e6 and keep it a little more fluid um another thing could be g6 weird dragon he's got h3 and i've got a6 and i'm not sure which one is more useful to tell you the truth probably h3 so i think i'm going to try e6 against dark knight uh pascalino has played we're in the middle of an exchange variation i just castle and now Cybernian has taken back on d4, of course. And now I'm looking to see what sort of moves do I have here. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I guess I can give, I'm going to give queen a5 a quick look. Um, what would he do there? Um, can I come out fast? Does he have to go bishop to d2? And if he goes bishop to d2, does that does that do anything for him? I I think I should play knight to c6 and you know see if he wants to bolster my center a little bit. So I'm going to go knight c6. Uh, Mater die has gone bishop to c4, and that's that's in that uh, Smith Moore. So we'll we'll see what's what's going on there. Um, normal sort of things here: knight b6 or pawn takes pawn, and both look okay. Actually, usually, usually by this time in the simul, somewhere when I'm playing the white pieces, I'm already been cheapoed at some point. So, so this is actually uh, uh, not turning out so bad so, so far. So I have to see what's 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 the story here after Bishop C4, uh, Knight B6, uh, possibly the best move. Uh, pawn takes pawn could be good too. Um, so Knight B Knight B6 has played the most. D takes E5. I think is is going to be a pretty decent move. Also, uh, e6, like I said, I want to avoid that. So I think I'm going to try d takes e5 here and see see how that one goes. Um, I think that's the one I've taught to my students the most. And now Merlin has gone knight bd2, and I'm just going to go d6. Uh, at what moment do I go pawn takes pawn on d4? Is a good question. Um, with Merlin and 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 when should I play knight to c6 or knight bd7? So at Merlin, I think I'm going to go knight to c6. Uh, Talokin is doing what is that thing called? Uh, d4, knight of six, knight c3, d5. I always take it, and then on the second turn, I don't take it back. So so that's interesting. Sox gambit. I'm going to go take on d4. Uh, Pascalino, we have knight d e two, which I've played. Uh, I've played in some games. Queen e one from Lufus. I think I just go bishop e seven, and now uh, Lao Tse. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go queen b six and see what he does there. Eric Morris doing the line with bishop f four. I'm gonna castle. Uh, Talikin's gone bishop to g five, and I'm gonna just go knight b d seven. And Dark Knight has developed with Bishop to E2. Now, I mean, I felt like Dark Knight had to be a little more aggressive about this because if he's getting into a classical uh, Shevenigan type position, isn't H3 a wasted move? So I think I'm happy about that. I thought he had to be more aggressive. Counterattack has taken back C takes D4 right away. And I, I think that I'm going to see, probably I'm going to hit with D6. Like I said, I try not to. I try not to play play e6 in those situations. Uh, 
in some lines, the bishop can come out very fast. So I'm just going to go d6. Mater die has recaptured. That's in that other Smith Moore c3 type of position. And and in this position, I think that I, I I've messed around with a couple of things. And I think that what I'm going to do is I I like the I like the one with uh, with takes takes and knight d to b4. And I think I'm I'm going to try that one. I, I in tournament games I've played knight b6 a few times and done okay also. So I'm going to go knight on d to b4. Okay, rainbow bear. Now what's the what's the position here? Can I play? Sometimes instead of d3 and you see, and sometimes instead of castles, the way white would play is white would keep the king on e1 and go c3, and that would prevent black from going bishop g4 because of the queen b3 threat. So I think I can just go bishop g4 there and be okay. Um, now, in the Eric Moore thing, we're getting into very theoretical stuff. Um, the, the GMs have played b6 and stuff, but I think c5 is, is, the, uh, is the right way to play that position. Okay, Lufus, Lufus, we have, now he's played e4 on me, and, and, and that, and that's, that's in, in that, um, London system, so e4 has happened, and let's see, what are my choices here, um, he's gaining some space, now, one, one thing, one thing about the, posi my position is, I, my, my bishop is in decent shape on g4, I'm looking at his knight, so I don't have to, I don't have to worry about that situation there. So that's one thing that's that's helping me. And but now he's he's uh, he's taken up the center with uh, with queen to e1, and then so I'm hitting his knight on h4, and he's just played pawn to e4. And this position, I I feel like I I don't know. Do I want to take on h4? Is a real good question. I mean I don't see why I should because it seems like it seems like his knight. Going back would lose the tempo. So, so this is an interesting sort of position here. Although, if I take on h4, it means that my bishop is in good shape. Um, I think I, I, I think I'm going to take on h4. I'm going to give that a shot. Okay. Uh, now, in the Talican game, when, when he when he plays this, I think it's the Blackmore Deemer. See, I mean, I, I always give the gambit back, so I'm just going to give the gambit back with e3 and just achieve some kind of position. And I think and I think that's the best thing for me to do there. Okay, Lao Tse, all right, now, when against Lao Tse, can I just go move my bishop again to g4 and put pressure on his e-pawn? I'm, I'm, uh, his uh, d4 point, sorry about that. Uh, Dutch defense from no main line. Okay, now, I don't know if I can play a London system against this type of thing. Because I put my bishop on on f5, it's getting hit pretty fast with stuff. So I'm going to have to play this differently. I think I'm going to try to Fianchetto. Maybe it's a Dutch reversed. Pasqualino, rookie eight. I've studied this position with some of my students. Uh, Stocks Gambit has replied with e takes d4. And I'll just devote with d6, kind of get into a hedgehog type of position. Cybernian, I've got him to back up with, uh, with, with, um, Knight to f3, and now I'm looking at knight a5 ideas. Um, is it possible that I could win a pawn with knight a5? Let me see what to, let me see how, how do I, how do I like the looks of that? Knight a5 is queen moves, and I get knight takes c4. Maybe. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try that. See if I could steal a pawn there. Lupus, I think I'm just gonna castle. Okay, Dr. Strange move. We're also in a Bishop F4, Queen's Indian. Um, Jester, I think I have to set up with a Hedgehog, so I'm going to have to retreat my Bishop soon. Talikin's picked up, re recaptured the pawn on E3. I just go E6. I feel like I have a comfortable game there. And now Lufus has gone Queen to G3. Does that mean he's trying to attack me, or is he trying to bother my Bishop? Uh, or or is he trying to go queen g5 and getting some kind of repair job to his pawn structure? All of the above is fairly interesting. Um, if he went queen g5, I think I would I would not, rather not repair his pawn structure. Uh, so the way it looks is I think I'm going to develop with knight to a6. Then I have to see 
If he goes F5, am I okay there? I think I am. So I'm just going to go Knight A6. Sox Gambit, we're in the Hedgehog type of Queen's Indian, so I'm just developing. Bishop C4 from Mater Die, and I'm pretty sure my reply there is just E6. Uh, Eric Moore has gone Bishop takes C5. And I was sitting next to a good game once. Now I have to see if I can remember it. Um, after, after after Bishop to Knight C3, Bishop to F4, I, I think that I just take recapture. Now, I'm very glad to get some practice in this position because I, I, I was threatening to play this in the tournament a few times as black and, uh, and, and never really did it. So, uh, so I, I think I recapture on C5. And Bishop to E3 from Lufus, just developing. And now I have to see. My knight on D7 is a little weird, so how do, how do I come out here with my pieces and what's a, what's a, uh, what's a good plan for me here? I, I'm almost looking at F5, but it's such a strange-looking thing that that I, I, I'm not really happy about how it looks. Um, C5, I can't do, although it's a pawn sack. C5 is strange looking move. Um, not out of the question to do it. A little weird looking, but then he snatches a pawn and then his bishop goes to b3. It doesn't look all that bad. Knight b4, not really sure what it does. He should have, it should be too easy for him to defend his, uh, his pawn on c2. So I'm looking at uh, uh, various uh, moves here. Queen a5, f6, I, I, I don't like the looseness of that one either. I don't know, for some reason, I'm, st for some reason, I'm starting to like the looks of f5. Um, I, I, I don't really know why, though. I mean, it makes, makes a hole on e5, but it maybe it, it forces him into a decision. So I, I think I'm going to try this f5. Strange position, but yeah, I mean, f5 is, I think, what I'm going to do. Okay, Cybernian has gone queen c2, and now I just have to look here. I think I just go, I'm going to go knight takes c4. Uh, I think I snatched a pawn. I'm not sure. We'll see. Merlin with queen c2, and on queen c2, I, I think I'm just going to go rook c8 and see. I don't know if there's any tactics, but he better be careful anyway with my rook lined up on his queen from, from a long distance. And the queen's gamuts. Now, this time, this the simul was supposed to have another type of time control, but it doesn't for some reason. So, but that's okay. We'll just we'll just keep uh, keep doing it and see. So, so we're 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 in the, we're in the Smith War gambit now. And knight db4, and he played queen b3. He hit. I went e6, and then he he castled. And now I have to look to see. There's moves like knight a5. I think. Uh, I studied this with a lot of students. I've, I've played it myself. So it, so I think the normal moves are between bishop to d7 and uh, and knight a5. Uh, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna try bishop to d7. Okay, J. Russell. I don't know what's what's going on here. Um, he went e4, c5, and then my the board never came around, and I've used a lot of time. So I'm just gonna go d6. Hopefully that game will catch up. And uh, and I'm gonna you know try to try to move fast a little bit on in these games, and uh, and see what happens. Uh, so I did the bishop d7 and a3. Those are the two Smith Moors that I have going. And now um, was this a, was this a mistake from me or die? I just play knight a5. What's going on here now? Talikin has played f4, and now how do I want to deal with this? Um, this is an excellent question that I just asked myself, and in, in, in that's that's in this uh, Blackmore Deemer business where he played his where, where he played his bishop to g5, and then he had to recapture on e3. If he played e4 first, he would have he he would be a tempo up here. So now he's gone f4, which seems like a good move. And and I have to see after e6 f4. What is my correct setup? I don't know. I was thinking it could be G6, or or do I want to hit hit him first? You know, hit him very fast with C5, and and start to uh, take care of his center. Other other moves I can think about here, or maybe Knight D5 to get some sort of repair job, and to see if 
if maybe I can get control of the e4 square, I'm leaning towards knight to e d5. Bishop to b4 is something to look at too. So I think I'm going to try knight to d5 and see how he likes how he wants to deal with that. Okay, um, so bishop h5 and rainbow bear. There's, a, I mean, there's a lot of games where people are moving and 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 for some reason, the the uh, the moves are not popping up. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on this. It happened once before and got me into real bad time pressure in some other games. So, so I'm just going to see what, you know, keep an eye on situations here. If I haven't moved for a while, if, if somebody wants to tell me, I'll come to your board because you could see that usually I move pretty quickly. And, and sure enough, on counterattack, I see that, that my clock's been ticking and the board has not, not revolved around to me. And, and this is this is when this is when the trouble starts in these things, is that you know I mean I don't need to think for 24 minutes on that move. You know what I mean? So, so this is this is this is the question here of what's what's going on. So, um, uh, in this game, I mean I'm just going to go knight b6. Did I need to think that long on that? I don't think so. Okay, knight c3 from Lounce. And now the question is with Lao Tse, do I need to go bishop takes f3 now or can I wait and and build up the pressure some more? I think I think I'm going to snatch a pawn. Although, I mean, if I don't snatch the pawn now, he gets knight a4 type of stuff. So that's interesting. And then it, right at that board, it goes to another one. So the, there's a problem with the boards. I'm thinking on one game and it switches to another one. This is I'm, I'm having you know I'm playing the black pieces, and and the boards are not working too well here. So um, I'm I'm gonna have to go fishing around here and see see counter attack moved very fast, and 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 it should revolve to that board and it did not. Okay, so back to Lounce and should I snatch his pawn or can I go knight h6 and come out faster? Queen a5 check. I don't know. Bishop takes f3 and snatch the pawn on d4. Probably that's just the right thing to do. Okay. And now J. Russell, look at this one. 35, I've used 25 minutes for two moves in the Sicilian. I don't think so. Okay, Lufus, Lufus has threatened, uh, has played bishop to d4, threatening mate. Now I have to see how do I want to deal with this. I, I was almost thinking that e5 was going to be a good move there. Get some, you know, get some tactics going. Um, normal looking move for me here would be maybe to just go rook to f7 and just defend like that. I think that's what I think that's what I'm going to do. Rook f7 and knight bd2 from Cybernian. So he's just turning it into a gambit. Um, let me see what kind of moves do I have here. I have queen a5 going for pins. I think I should just take on on d2 when I'm up a pawn. So let's get going here on some of these boards where, the, where uh, the time is going too fast. Okay, queen c3 for mate or die. And and in that position, I, I feel like I have a few good moves. Uh, knight a5, if he goes queen to c3 like he did, um, am I tempted to do like a rook c8 or something like that? Or, or should I just take his bishop off and be happy with that? I think I just take his bishop on c4 and I'm pretty happy. Okay, so Dark Knight is castled, and let's see what to do here. I think that I'm going to castle myself. We're going to get into an opposite side castle's pawn storm position there. Okay, Moro Russian is doing a strange mixture of moves. Uh, Nimzo Indian with, with mixing Bishop G5, I'm not sure that that should be allowed, but I'm not exactly sure how to take advantage of it. So... So, you know, uh, we'll check it out here. Knight f3, c5. He went bishop to g5. And I feel like, I, I, I almost feel like some Cambridge Springs trick could happen. Uh, probably c takes d4, most normal, and just see if I could take advantage of that. Knight takes d2 from Cybernian. And now I think I just want to be bishop e7 and just pretend like nothing happened and and just uh, be up some material. Okay. Lufus has taken. My position got a little holy there. A3 from Eric Moore and that Queen's Gambit. 
Um, normal kind of Queen's Gambit. He did A3. And now my reply is probably probably just Knight to C6 is is the uh, is going to be the best reply there. And then there's all kinds of messy ways for him to do things here. All right, made or die. Um, knight on D5, good. Looks good. Looks like looks like the correct move. Put the knight on D5, and then I have to see will it stay there. I think I'm going to go knight. I'm I'm looking at knight to D5. I'm looking at. Well, I can offer a trade on C8, but then I, I don't know. If I take out the rook, he takes my pawn. I think knight to d5 must be the right move for me there. Okay, Jay Russell, this game has to start going a little faster than what it is. Queen g5, a queen trade offer from Lufus. I didn't want to give him a repair job. I, I don't know if the repair job matters that much. Um, if I go g6, can my bishop ever get into trouble out there? It's a long way for his knight to get to to uh, g3 but you never know um i think uh i think i'm just going to go g6 and be greedy there and try not to have the pawn structure get get uh fixed moro russian has gone queen takes d4 um and that that, that that's that's a sort of an odd situation there um, so I did C takes D4, knight takes, and he did not do knight takes D4, he did queen takes D4, which surprises me a lot. And knight C6 has got to be the right move. And just gain a tempo, and I'm getting in the time pressure on that board also. Okay, Merlin, what's going on here now? Merlin has gone knight C4, and I think I'm going to take on D4 and see if I can create some tactics. Well, say has gone... Queen to d3, and now I'm thinking of snatching this pawn, and I think I have to snatch it with knight takes d4. Pawn storm from dark knight, we expected this. And I'm going to just go knight to d7 and get, in, get ready for the pawn storm setup. Rook to e1 from Lufus. And, okay, I'm thinking about knight to f8 ideas. Um, it's interesting uh, an interesting idea for me here could be, I'm looking at knight to b4, just to see, is it awkward for him to defend that um, that position? And now um, queen to f8 doesn't look bad. Trying to trade some rooks. Uh, what's the situation with his queen out there? Okay, I'm going to try queen to f8 against Lufus. It's a very sharp position. I'm not sure what, what what's going on there. I'm also wondering, well... I mean, trading the queens and then trying to be solid might not be the worst thing to do here. Um, so I'm I'm thinking about how to do that. Maybe all right. I think I'm going to trade the queens. I wanted to keep the pawn structure, but I think I'm trading the queens. At least I'm not going to get mated, which could happen. Tired dad, Pasqualino. Another game where my clock is ticking and and nothing's doing. Uh, trade queens against counterattack, and now there's no counterattack there, so that so that so that's the good news for me. Uh, Mater die has just retreated his queen, and now I have to see what what do I want to do here. I have to break the pen. Uh, I'm thinking of just going uh, queen to c queen to b6, maybe taking that pawn with uh, with my queen. So I'm going to try queen to b6 against Mater die. I think I'm pretty happy in that position. Lupus is recaptured quickly, and now I have to see how do I want to how do I want to do this? Uh, get my pieces back. Maybe to trade. Maybe to try and trade a lot of rooks could be nice. So, and I have to be careful how I do it though. Okay, I think I'm just going to go king f8 and start to play solidly there. Counter attack is recaptured on d1, and and it looks like he's not going to get any counter attack in this kind of position. I'm just very happy. I think the two Smith Mora games are working out all right for me. Uh, made or die. Now, how do I want to do this one? Now, do I want to take on b4, or or is bishop c6 a nice greedy move to get to to try and get get it all there? So I'm checking on bishop c6. Queen takes b4. Sometimes I want to give the pawn back to just get good development. Does knight c6 bother me? Uh, I think I'm going to snatch a pawn with queen takes b4 and see how that goes. 
Okay, now we got to see against Merlin what's happening here now. Any? Do I have any big tricks? Uh, I'm looking, looking at uh, some ideas. His knight is hanging, his knight on, but he he might be popping into d6. So I think I'm going to go d6 myself. I don't see any tricks based on my rook and his queen being lined up just yet. F3 from Pascalino, and that's a that's that's the normal move for sure. And I've played against, I, I've I've actually studied his position with my students a lot, and I think there was one game. One game I was following that that I really liked, and and I'm going to see what's what's the uh, you know what's the situation with that in this the um, the exchange variation has just always been a pretty good thing. I mean, I've gotten this position with White. Idea is trying to build a strong center uh, with F3 and E4. Black has to be careful how he does it though, because it's it's some sometimes. It could be a little loose. So after castles and knight f8, um, black is black is not. I, I don't know if black is threatening to to do it just yet. E4, but sometimes it gets prepared, or I mean, sometimes it could be it it could be played straight out, and uh, and you know with 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 a good position. Now I know I know the moves that that are, that have been played here. Um, a lot of a lot of different moves. And I think the move I, I I'm not sure the thing I I think the move I played with my study with my student was I I think it might might be uh, something with the uh, with with the B six uh, it's not with B six with 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 some sort of either knight to G six ideas trying to play very active uh some you know some some something like that could happen and so. So we'll see what we'll see what what the deal is at. I'm I'm considering a couple of moves. I'm considering bishop. I think I'm considering bishop e6 and and knight g6 as as the moves that that I like. Uh, so I I think I think I'm going to go for knight to g6, and we'll see we'll see what what he wants to do there. C5 from Doctor Strange move after after castles. Uh, now, now I have to see. Usually, those usually those C5 moves are met fast by by something like um, B6 to 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 see if the chain can be undermined fast. So I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised at, at at that move. C5. It stops me from playing C5 certainly, and I think I'm just going to play the uh, the typical thing. And the board changed to. Mater went back to Mater die. All right, so I think Mater die. I'm just going to take back on B4 with my knight and Doctor Strange move. I'm going to go B6. J Russell, there's something wrong with the board here because I, I mean it, it's getting me into time pressure and that's not good. Okay, now I got to see what to do against Lufus. Lufus. Is knight? I, I don't know. I feel like this knight b4 cheapo. I keep looking at, and I, I just to see how does he defend the pawn there. It might just be it, try to misplace his pieces a little bit. I, I think I'm going to try knight to b4 just to see if I could put one of his pieces in a misplaced position. Okay, more Russian has retreated queen back to d3, and now let me see what what uh, what should I do here? I mean. It doesn't look that bad for him. Some sort of hedgehog deals. Um, do I ever want to go queen a five? I I I think I'm I think I'm going to castle first and then see if I could get some rapid development. Okay, rook a e one after knight g six from Pascalino. And so, like I said, he can prepare the break, and uh, and and he has after knight g six. He's going rook a e rook a to e one, uh, an absolutely decent move. And now I got to see what uh, what what do I like here? Um, well, you know, I mean, it's, it's it's a strange move here for me that maybe I I don't know maybe he shouldn't have allowed it. I'm going to try h six because I get his bishop, and that could be you know and that could be a good thing for me. All right, king b one from dark knight. So we're starting to get into. Into th this area of just um, very uh, sharp play. I'm going to go B5 and get my stuff going. 
Doctor Strange move has reployed B four. And let's see what let's see what what the situation is. There is I, I'm thinking that I, I'm thinking absolutely that that I should be going A five there. Uh, although his rook on A one is defended, and, and 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 you know, and that's the big question. It it, it would look like. Um, I, I would looks like a five should be the right move and hitting at the chain. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I got Lufus to play rook to c one, and and at least his it was his e rook. So I I made him move away from the file, which uh, which could help me. And now I'm now I'm looking to see uh, I'm looking at c five, but then I'm afraid of bishop to c three a little bit. Um. Let's see. I'm afraid of that one. I'm thinking maybe. Okay, now I don't know if I can go rookie seven. Rookie seven probably looks like the right move for me to do. So I don't have to worry about any bishop c5 moves. He's no doubt going to send me back. So okay, I'm going to go rook to e7 and see how that one works. All right, Jay Russell's going bishop e2. I'm going e5. Uh, pawn to b4 from Eric Moore. And and my and, and my bishop absolutely uh, will go back. Pretty sure bishop to e7. And let's see. So uh, a3, knight c6, and then b4. It's been this position's been played a lot. And the bishop actually, I, it could probably go back to a number of places here. Um, I don't know. You know, I mean, is is a sacrifice knight takes b4 allowed here? Uh, this is this is an interesting question. Um, I, I I thought that that queen c2 was always preparing that that that, that move, and there's no queen on c2 yet. So how you know is is could this be something to do? Uh, I think I'm going to give it a shot and see. I'm not 100 percent sure about it, but we're going to see. Okay, Merlin has gone rook to e1. Now I'm still I'm looking for ways. To do something to Merlin on the C file, and I don't really see how to do it yet. So, B5 to send his knight backwards. Interesting. Uh, no tactics. So, B5 getting the minority attack going with a tempo seems like the right thing to do. Uh, Cybernian, I'm just going to castle. I'm up a pawn in that game. Uh, Mater die has developed with Bishop E3. He's threatening to snatch a pawn on, on uh, A7. Mm-hmm. And I think that I should try to keep that pawn. Uh, do I want to try and keep it with just playing a6? Probably. Okay, now, uh-oh, knight c3 from Rainbow Bear. Here comes a big question here for me. Can I get away with d5? Will it win a piece? I'm going to try. Uh, knight b3 from Lufus. And now let's see what he's up to here. Threats. Um, I'm looking at rook to e2, but he might get, he might, knight c5 could be annoying, I guess. Um, pawn to b6 for me, but it feels a little loose, doesn't it? Feels a little loose, uh, but but I'll see about that. Um, rook to e2 is really the move I would like to play, but then I, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing with, the, with knight to c5 ideas. Because I, I I have to I have to look out for forks all over the place, so that's that's an interesting uh, situation there. Is does does the threat force me to retreat? Is what I'm wondering. Um, okay, I'm going to see here. I think, well, knight a six. He might he, he has all kinds of ideas here. His knight is an annoying place. I think that I'm going to have to try uh, try b six. It feels a little loose. But I'm going to have to give it a try out and see just because I'm worried about knight c5 so much. Okay, Moro Russian has gone uh, e3, and I think I'm just going to come out with the b6 stuff and normal kind of hedgehog situation. Tired dad, these moves, you know, the, the moves are just not coming in right on these boards. So it's 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 a, it's a you know it's a real situation here. If I get in the time pressure, I mean, you, like I said, you could tell I move pretty fast. I mean, actually, in tournaments, I move pretty fast also. So I'm just wondering what what is you know what's going on on some of these boards here. You know, um, whether whether um, 
the, the boards are not popping at the right time. I could have one of the worst scores ever in a simul if I'm not careful. So, so we're going to see what, 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 what the situation is with this. Okay. So, so this was, um, with, uh, with pawn to c5 and then, and then I went a5. And I think, do I want to exchange everybody? What's, what, what is, what is my plan against Dr. Strange move is, is a, uh, is a good question. And then, you know, of course, the problem is the, uh, you know, I, when, when the boards go away, I, I should ask Sandro to keep an eye on this for me because if I get into bad time pressure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the boards to come up faster than, than w what it has. And, and, you know, and that's going to be, that's going to be the situation here. Otherwise, Andy Soltis might have to write about this as the worst time we ever had. Okay. So I'm going to go knight e4 here. Um, knight takes pawn from dark knight, sacking with his queen. I'm surprised about that. Or right, I'm taking that. I think I'm happy to see that. Uh, Jester with pawn to a4. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to go knight c6, try and take advantage of the holes. Uh, trying to get moving fast here. Uh, okay, now, Dark Knight, how do I want to do this? Knight takes b5. Very, very interesting to sack a piece for three pawns. Um, but I'm going to have some open lines. If I want, I could go queen a5 and make a queen trade. The, my coordination would be a little bit suspicious, I think. So that's, you know, so that's the only question about this. Um, I think I'm going to go queen to a5 and, and, and make a queen trade. Knight d4 from mate or die, and, and does he have any ideas of knight to b5 threats, or what's the story there? I think I'm going to go rook c8 just in case. Normal move from Russell, uh, J. Russell. Uh, Sox gambit, uh, rook e8 I'm going to play to organize. I think that that looks pretty safe for me. Uh, queen a5, I think I'm going to take back with the knight against dark knight and try and bother him. Uh, Mor Moro Russian has gone bishop to e2. Now, I, I, I thought really I was going to get more out of this than what I did. And, and I don't, and I didn't really, so I, okay, I'm going to try pawn to h6. Pawn to e4 from Pascalino. Uh, now, can he do that? What's, what is, what's the situation with that is an excellent question. Uh, I played, uh, he played e4 right away and then, and then on rook a e1, I did h6 and he took on f6 and I recaptured hitting the e3 pawn and then he's played e4. And I, I don't know if I take him, is, am I threatening the d4 pawn? I think I must take and try that. Okay, knight back to d2 for Merlin, and I'm just going to go a6. And Jester, I'm going to castle. Time to get out of town. Lao Tse just retreated with queen to d1. And let's see, what, what should I do? I'm thinking, I'm looking for tricks here. Does he have queen a4 checks and stuff like that? I think I'm just going to retreat with knight c6. I'm up a pawn there. And now I'm forking Rainbow Bear with pawn to d4, so I won a piece in that game. Cybernian has gone castle's queen side. Wow. All right. Well, I'm just going to go bishop to d7 because it threatens rook c8 right away. Knight takes d6 from dark knight. And now I have to see my what is my coordination situation here look like. All right. I'm going to take on... Well, I'm looking at bishop to a6, and how many pawns does he have already? He, if I'm not careful, he might wind up picking up even more pawns. So his idea here is not bad at all. Um, I'm thinking about bishop takes bishop and then knight to e4, bishop takes knight, and then trying to make some coordination. Okay, counterattack has gone f4, and I'm just going to get my bishop outside the chain. Uh... Knight to b4, I guess I should give a quick look at, because it's threatening knight d3, but no, let's go bishop f5, take it easy, play normal moves. Okay, now, rook to c8 for free against Cybernian, uh, or do I want to play queen a5 or something like that? Let me go, or or do I want to put in h6 with a tempo? I'm going to go h6 first. I'm not supposed to touch the side I'm working on, and I just did. So we're going to see what, what's the deal with that. 
Okay, now bishop takes d4 from Pascolino. I could win a pawn, but then he's got some nice threats. So I'm thinking that I should just go back with knight to f8. But then, I don't know, if, if he get, ever gets d5, and is that really going to bother me? So what I'm thinking about here, I think I'm going to go knight to e7, actually, and put an end to some stuff. Okay, mate or die, any threats? I think I'm just going to go bishop e7 and try and get my king out of town. Sox, gambit, rook f e1. I'm going to go bishop to f1. And bishop h4 for mono, for mono Russian, Moro Russian, sorry. And now, what to do here? Looking for uh, moves like g5 are ridiculous. So uh, I, I'm going to try bishop to a6, see if I could take advantage of where his queen is. Okay, bishop c3 from Lufus. And this looks like a good move. Hitting my knight, I think I'm going to go a5. And then now I'm starting to wonder about my c6 square a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to go a5 and defend that. All right, now dark knight, I have to be really careful about how I do this because my coordination is getting really weird here with my knights all over the place. Um, I'm I'm wondering about, I'm looking at knight f6, but then he might just go bishop f3. Uh, well, I don't know bishop f3. Maybe pawn to f3 would be the right move. Knight to e5. Should I do that? I'm going to I'm gonna try knight to e5 and see what's going on. It's a little rough. Uh, Rainbow bear, I think I want a piece, so I'll just take that. Uh, Lao Tse has gone knight a4, attacking my queen, and... Where do I want to bring it back to? Am I afraid of any queen b3 ideas? No, I think I'm just going to go queen back to uh, uh, d8 and pretend like nothing happened. And I think I'm, you know, decent positions in a lot of the games here. Bishop f4 from Cybernian. And now I'm looking for some tricks here. Uh, rook c8 feels like a right move. Um, let, me, let me do that. Let me go rook to c8. Okay, knight e4 for mate or die, offering a trade of rooks. I think I can castle there. Uh, mono Russian, I think I'm going to try pawn to d5, hitting the c4 pawn. Rainbow bear is just down a piece, so I'm just going to play like nothing happened with bishop to e7. a3 from Lufus, I must go knight back to a6. And now knight takes e4 from Dr. Strange move, and, uh, and I just take that back. And I, am I getting some pressure here? What, what's going on there? And I love my development in that game. My development looks great there. Okay, Mater Die has gone knight to d6. Uh-huh. And, and now, well, he's getting rook c7 ideas. I think I have to take that knight. Uh, bishop to d3, Lounce is developing. And, yeah, it looks like a decent move. And I'm just going to play. I, I need to get my pieces out also. So knight h6 or knight e7, I think I'm just going to go knight on on uh, g to e7, try and get myself castled. Sox gambit. All right. What's the deal? Do I ever want to go bishop takes f3? This is what I'm wondering. Well, right now, I think I'm just going to settle for b5 and get, get the tempo. Usually in those positions, uh, d4 is played. Knight, uh, Pascalino, uh, I'm thinking of just going knight to d5 here. And just, you know, trying to be solid about this. All right, Lufus has played. Lufus has gone knight to d4, hassling me on the c6 square for sure. And now, what's my best way to defend this deal here? Um, am I getting trouble on e6 square or anything? I'm, I'm, I'm looking actually at pawn to d4, but no, then knight to c6 and it gets d5. So I think I have to go rook to c8. I'm a little loose, I feel, there. Okay, tired dad, I'm going in for, for a um, uh, typical Tartikover position. And now, what's going on with mate or die? Knight to d5, shielding the pawn looks right. I have to make sure that, that, that he doesn't get this d pawn going. Okay, Jester has moved off of his, his queen off the line. And now, I'm going to see what to do here. Uh, pawn to a6. Is he trying to go pawn to b4? Does that do anything? I'm going to go knight to a5 just to make him go b3. Okay, just, Lounce is coming up with some kind of compensation I didn't think he was going to get. 
the 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 Lounce game could get a little more messy than what I what I thought. No main line, Queen E1, just like in the Dutch, and my pawn is on C6. So so I believe he's getting into some sort of decent type of Dutch position there. Uh, I could even be down to tempo sometimes. Uh, what should I do here? Um, I'm thinking of pawn to D4, but like I said, I'm getting into a Dutch down to tempo. I think I'm going to try pawn to D4 and just see what happens. Okay, uh, uh, Merlin... A3, it's a good move, slows me down, so then I'm going to try the hedgehog regrouping idea with rookie 8. Knight E5, from Dr. Strange move, knight E5. And now i got to see what is what is the development situation here. This is all pretty interesting. Uh, F6 is tempting. Uh, I would really like to take advantage of, of the looseness of his position, so I think F6 seems right. Uh Mono Moro Russian has gone knight to b5, shielding the pawn. And I think I'm just going to play, well, what's going on here? Hmm. I think I'm going to try bishop back to e7, breaking the pin. The pin looked a little annoying. Okay, uh, Talikin has played knight f3, and I'm going to go bishop e7. It, it's, it's the simul boards have not worked very well again. Uh, so, but I'm going to do my best here. I'm going to start, try to start moving fast. I don't, if I lose on time, it's because, if I lose on time, it's because I didn't see your board. So, and also remember, no adding time, please, okay? So don't do anything like that. If for some reason I lose on time, it's not the end of the world. We'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, Sox Gambit's made a threat. I think I must stop it with G6. Okay, I got Jester to play. B3, and now is there any way for me to take advantage of the fact that I got him to play B3? Um, I don't know. Looking at D5, all right, I'm going to try D5, see if I could open him up. Pawn to B3 from Dark Knight, and now I, I have to see the, the coordinate. Like I said, I'm having trouble with my coordination with these knights. What is a good way to do this? I'm going to try Bishop to B7, uh, make him play F3, and then see if I can take advantage of some kind of situations there okay a5 from lufus looks like a good move yep and now i have to be very careful here uh i'm thinking of going c5 and and seeing what he what he does about that um his bishop could be very strong on g2 so i'm gonna go c5 and and see if i can break him up Knight c4 from Dr. Strange move, and I think I'm going to take on b4 and start to see if I can make some threats against him there. Um, okay, Pascalino, I guess, what? how do I want to do this? Is Should I go rook to c8, take the tempo, or should I go queen? To, I'm going to go queen to b6. Uh, my position looks okay there. Knight d2 from Sox Gambit. And I'm, I just have must protect with a6. Uh, G4 from counterattack. Well, he, his name is counterattack, and I, he played a surprising move there. And I think that bishop e4 makes the most sense. Let me take a look at this. All right, bishop e4 certainly makes the most sense, and then he's got to put something in the way. Bishop e3 from Lao Tse. Lao, Tse's, Lao Tse has drummed up some compensation here. Uh, now, what, uh, um, do I want to go pawn to d4? Or, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go pawn to d4 and just do this. And we're, 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 lots of games here. Okay, Dark Knight has gone bishop to d3. And now I'm looking at weird moves here like f5. And I think I'm going to try it because I have to juice this. I have to, you know, liven it up here a little bit. Uh, Rainbow Bear down a piece. I'll just castle. Loud says play bishop g1 very fast, and I think I'll just go knight to d5 and get my try and get myself developed. Trade rooks against Doctor Strange move. Um, bishop d3 from Merlin, and I think I just do regrouping here. How do I want to do the regrouping? Bishop f8 or g6 is a question. I think I'm going to play g6 first. I was afraid of bishop g5 a little bit. Counter attack. I'm just going to develop with there. Okay, now Dr. Strange move, I guess I'm going to fork his pawns with knight to c6. And I like my development a lot there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get him out of, you know, get him before he gets out. 
And we'll see what happens. Rook takes e6 from Dark Knight, okay? And now, do I want to... Let's see. I'm threatening... I like the way Knight takes d3 looks. Trying to loosen him up at any cost here. Okay, Knight takes d3 it is. And Knight a4 from Lao mm -hmm. Okay, now he's trying to get in to c5. Is that really going to bother me? We went, he went rook c1. And now, is that really going to bother me or what? I mean, if that knight goes in there, I guess I'm going to have to take it. Um, any other moves? Do I want to go knight e3 and just have him take that? I mean, losing a pawn here might not be a terrible thing for me. Uh, I think I'm just going to develop with bishop to e7 and see if knight, see if I can deal with knight c5 when it happens. Okay, um, Eric Moore, this game... Back to this game where I sacked a piece on B4. Uh, pretty interesting stuff as things go. And and now, let's see, he went he went to queen to B3. And that's, of course, a good move. And and now, my what is what is my reply after I did A5? And and he did bishop to G5 pinning me. Mm-hmm. And that seems right. So if he after, after he pins me, I have to see what's uh, um, what sort of move do I want to do here? Maybe I maybe I want to do h6. It could be. Are, are there are there tactics here that 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 uh, I'm not seeing after bishop to g5? Let's see. Uh, h6 maybe is the right move. Let's see what else there is. B5. Um, B5 type of stuff to come out very fast. I feel like I should have some something uh, strong here after bishop g5. Uh, let's see, h6, then must he take it? And then I would take back with the queen. So there's tactical situations here all over the place. Uh, for some reason, I you know, for some reason, b5 seems like the right move. So I, I'm going to go b5 there, and that's really mixing it up. Okay, now... Dark Knight, what's happening here? He's threatening. Uh, let's see. Uh, if I could see, he took back with the, the C points. His king is a little loose. If I could put some pressure on on his E pawn, I'm thinking of something like Rook to F6. Uh, and then where would he go? Rook back to E5. And, and that Knight... I'm going to try rook to f6 and see. I'm I'm trying to figure out some way to take his e pawn. Okay, uh, J. Russell has gone f4 now. Do I just want to go rook to c8 or queen to c7 there, and just to be, meet f5 with, uh, with, with with bishop c4? That looks right. Pawn takes pawn from Jester. I'll go knight takes. Uh, recapture from Lufus. I think I have to take back with the pawn, and. Take him back with the rook, his knight cemented. I really don't like the looks of my position here. I think this is the one game I'm not too happy about. Okay, a3 from Rainbow Bear, and I'm just going to go knight d7. That's one game I'm up a piece. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, uh, Dr. Strange move has protected with e3, and now can I snatch b4? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snatch pawn to b4, threatening a fork. Simon's been going for about an hour and 15 minutes. Some pretty good games. Knight c3 from Pascalino. And what's my best way to protect here? Um, bishop to c6 or bishop to b5. Okay, I think I'm just going to go bishop to c6. See if I can take that pawn at some moment. Rook takes f6 from Dark Knight. Gives me bishop takes e4 check in between move. I'm very happy about that. And then we'll have to see which rook do I want to take. So time pressure is happening on a lot of boards here. Um, due to now Rook A2 from Rainbow Bear, very odd looking move to tell you the truth. And I think I'm going to go Knight to E5 and Rook to C1 from Dark Knight. And now what's the score here? My pawns are broken, but at least he's only got two pass pawns now. And now I got to see what's the development situation. I'm going to go Knight to C6. And see if I could get get some play there. Okay, counterattack um, with a3, and I'm just going to go bishop to e7. Looks like a good move. Uh, any other things to look at? 
Knight A5, maybe. No, I think Bishop E7 just coming out with the pieces looks good. Knight B5 from Lufus. And now I got to see what to do here. Um, I'm, my D5 pawn is hanging, and so is my A5 pawn. I, this one, this one is not going too well. This this could be uh, this could be a real situation here. Uh, I'm afraid I have to lose my pawn, and I'm going to try to lose it with pawn to d4, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, uh, Jester, solid move. Rook c1 looks looks like a good move. And now I'm looking. I'm going to trade knights on c3. Bishop takes c4 in the knight orb. I'm trying to start moving fast here. Pawn to a3 from dark knight, and now. Um, I'm going to go knight to e5 and see if I could hassle his pawns a little bit and and see if I could get some play here. Bishop to e4 from Wounce, and I think, uh, I, I'm, I mean, it's a little weird here. I mean, I loosen up my king. I think my king side is okay, so I'm going to cancel king side even with that h5 stuff. Okay, Pasqualino is going a4, a5, and I'm I'm wondering why I can't take on d4 with the bishop. So I'm going to take on d4 with the bishop and see what, what is he up to there. Does he have some a5 things or something? I feel like my queen can stay on the bishop. So I'm going to go bishop takes d4, and I feel like I'm up a pawn. Okay, Lufus has snatched a pawn, and that is absolutely got to be the right thing for him to do. And, and now i got to see how do I get some kind of play here. Um so uh, uh, he's threatening bishop to b7, and I think that all right, uh, I I just don't see how to get my knights going there, and I'm and, and I my bishop on h5 it looks really dumb now, so I'm regretting that g6 I did a long time ago. I'm just gonna go knight to b8. I think this could be my first loss at, at this point. Okay, c3 from Talkin. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rook to e8. See if I can persuade him to castle. Bishop takes c3 from Jester, and I'm going to try, uh, on Jester, I'm going to try to move queen to d5 to bother the b3 square. And now, strange move has gone queen to b1, and I'm thinking I should try to take on c5, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm still trying to keep his king in the middle. Okay, and now Dark Knight has gone king to c3. And I feel like I've, I feel like I'm doing a decent job here. I'm looking at, I'm, I'm looking at rook, rook, uh, d1. Looks like a decent move. Rook d8 for me. Just, uh, to maybe get some kind of activity there. I mean, I do have pieces. Knight d6 from Lufus. Looks, looks like a good move. And I go knight c6. And now he's hitting my rook. So my rook is just got trapped. I think that I must resign this game. So I think Lufus played a very good game there, and and that was twenty one nine moves. That was so my first loss against no wins was against Lufus. G four from Wounce. Okay, he opened me up. I was a little worried about castling over there, so now I have to be careful with this. I'm going to try to trade stuff off with knight to e three. Sox gambit. Knight takes knight to e four, and I play knight takes e four myself. I think I'm happy to trade stuff. Rainbow bear. I think I'm happy to trade stuff in this game, too. I'm up a piece. Okay, Pascalino, I figured that's what he was up to. He played a5, but now I'm just going to go queen c5. If I took the pawn, he'd go bishop h7. So I don't take the pawn. Dark knight has gone bishop to d4. And now I got to see what... Oh, now, hold on. I think that rook c8 might win for me in the dark knight game. I think I might have just won in the dark knight game. So that would be a real pleasure if that would, if that happened. Okay, queen to, uh, uh, J. Russell has gone queen e2, and I'm just gonna go queen to c7, triple on the file. Dr. Strange move. Do I have his king stuck in the middle? What's the deal here? Pawn to, now he's threatening my knight on b4. I was gonna go bishop takes c5, but knight to d3 check. Could be a good move, uh, and then take back with the queen, have a pawn on d3. That could be pretty interesting. I think I'm going to go for that. I wish I could keep his king in the center longer. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering about bishop takes c5, and then he goes queen e4. Can I, can I keep his king in the middle there? And that would be a good question. 
And if I, I, I think I'm going to try that. That's a greedy move. Bishop takes c5. Okay. Dark knight, um, I'm just going to play knight to f3 check. And I think I'm winning some nice material there. Okay, Eric Moore. Now, my idea with Eric Moore was to try and get rook c8 in very fast and, and pile on the piece. So is that is that going to work? That's that's what I'm wondering here. Let me see what I should have. My best way to do this, I can go queen c7, and then he could put takes on f6 in. Uh, I think I'm going to go bishop to b7. Okay, queen f3 from Lao Tse. And now I have to be a little careful about sacrifices. Uh, okay, I, I think I'm, if I go knight to d4, he goes queen takes e3, and then I'm worried about pins. Uh, interesting position. Um, if I take on g4, he goes queen takes. He might be he might be starting to hit me really fast on g6, and that one could worry me a little bit. Uh, I think okay, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to take on. First, I'm going to try to take on g6 and see if I could hold this, you know, that, that square and then develop. Okay, so I'm taking on g6, knight a3 from no main line, and I guess knight d5 looks like a kind of a normal move for me. Bishop takes e4 from Sox Gambit. I'll exchange. Rook takes c1 from Dark Knight. He's going to be down two pieces. Uh, Doctor Strange move has gone queen e4, and I'm going to go e5 and just try and come out fast. Uh, also, Merlin has just played knight to e4, so I'm trading it there also. Rook c2 from Jester. Now, Jester's getting tricky on me because if I go queen takes b3, maybe he's winning a piece. But how? Um, I feel like I'm trying to snatch b3 with something. So queen takes, and then a change to tired dad, so... The boards are messed up. I'm sorry, but uh, and 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 I move, you know, and I'm trying to move fast here. But if the board doesn't pop up, what can I do? Let me. Uh... Okay, so he canceled, and I'll go knight bd7, and 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 I'm back with Jester. And now I thought against Jester, I was going to play queen takes b3, and I think that's what I'm going to do. And I think that it feels like I want a pawn there. Okay, now against J. Russell, B5 looks like the normal thing for me to do there. Get some nice pressure. Dark Knight is down two pieces. Lao Tse is trying to fry me on the G6 square. Uh, Talokin has just attacked me on, on, uh, on the H7 square. And now, what is my best way to defend this? I think I'm going to go Knight to F8. I wasn't sure if I had some tricks there. Probably should have looked at that one a little bit more. Okay, and no main line has gone rook c1, and I'm going to play I'm looking. Where where should my bishop go, this this uh, this c bishop? I think I'm going to go e6 and solidify my knight there on, on d5. Okay, dark knight is trying to, has only two pass pawns going. I'm going to bring my king out. I'm just, now, in this position, I'm just going to make sure that, that I can keep enough pawns. I really don't want to do bishop against knight in a simul. I mean, I've done it, but but it's not the easiest thing to do. Okay, J. Russell has gone knight to d2, and now do I want to do an exchange sack? Is this the type of position for an exchange sack? I, I, I don't know. Well, I think I probably must, so I'm going to do it. Knight takes b3 against Jester. And now what to do against Merlin? I think I'm just going to play... Knight a5 seems like the right thing to do there. Uh, trade those light squared bishops is always a good thing. Coming out with my king against dark knight. Okay, Sox gambit. Knight takes e4. I'm going to go queen to c6, trying to get my minority attack going. King to d5. My king is coming up fast against dark knight. That looks good. Knight takes f3 against rainbow bear, and he's down now rook. Okay, and Pascalino, what's the deal here? Can I just go? Can I just go b6? Um, if I was scared, I would go bishop takes c3, but I don't think I'm scared. But uh, do I want to go? Do I want to go there? I could also have pawn to b5. Could be interesting to put that pawn there. If I go b6, what's his idea? Okay, I'm just going to go b6. Keep my pawn solid. 
Queen takes C3 from J. Russell. Knight like kind of usual kind of position where you do an exchange sack. Uh, Knight C5 from Lounce. Lounce is trying to hit me on the other side of the board. I'm taking on C5. Okay, now, Dark Knight, my, I, I think this should be very easy for me. Uh, I just don't want to trade a lot of pawns. That's the only thing. Uh, let's see. Let me see how to do this. Thinking about thinking about bishop. Well, I mean, the best way must be knight e2 check and start the hassle is kingside pawns. Okay, so Talikin has just gone castles, and I shall just play. Let's see. I'm looking at bishop to d6. Uh, yep, bishop d6 looks okay. And now, uh, loud say, what's uh, I, do I have a shot here? Loud say, I, I play queen d4 attacking. His rook and his bishop. Did I just win something? Okay, also, against Jester, bishop e4. Did I just win something? Things are looking up here with the, with, in the simul, in the black simul. One of the hardest simuls to do. Okay, uh, knight c4 from, from no main line. And let's see, what, what should I do here? I'm thinking about simply bishop to d7. Do I need to be concerned about... This I'm gonna I'm gonna go pawn to b6. I would like my bishop on that diagonal. I'm getting greedy about this. Okay, now I'm after some pawns. Doctor Strange move. Uh, all right. So, what to do to him he here? Bishop to e6. Regular development for me. Is that allowed? I think I like it. Yep. With maybe even some threats. Uh, rook to b2 from Jester, and I think I take his bishop. Uh, Rainbow Bear has taken on d4, and I just go queen takes. If I'm not mistaken, I'm up a rook there. Okay, now, Dark Knight, my job is to attack his kingside pawns. I'm going to go knight to g2. Russell, uh, J. Russell has offered me a queen trade. I don't want to give him a repair jump, so rook c8 is the move for me to play. Uh, okay, counterattack has gone bishop to e3, and now my question here is, do I play knight to d5 or do I play knight to c4? That's the question. That's the big question for me there. I think that I like knight to c4. Uh, f5 from Lao Tse. Okay, now, am I, am I getting scared here or not? He protects his bishop. And, okay, if I take, if I take his rook... He takes, pawn takes, and I go knight takes. And, well, okay, that's what I'm wondering here. I, okay, I take his rook, he takes on g6, I go knight takes e5. What's happening? Uh, is there, or, or do I want to be safe? If I take on f5, he goes bishop takes f5, and then I take his rook. Okay, I'm going to try e takes f5. All right, Sox Gambit, A3, trying to slow down my mi minority attack. I'm just going to go A5, renewing the minority attack. Dark Knight, uh, do I have Bishop to F3 starting to win pawns? Bishop F2 from counterattack. And now, I would really like somehow to keep counterattack from developing. I'm, um, I'm thinking about B5 look, could be nice. All right, I'm going to try pawn to b5 and see if I could open him up on the other side. All right, rainbow bear, queen e2, and what's the deal here? I think I'm just going to go, uh, how about I just go rook a to d8. Bishop takes e5, offering a queen trade from Lounce. And now what happens if I take on e7? Uh, excuse me, not on e7, on, 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 um, on, if I go queen takes c5, what is happening? Let me just take that rook, and a3 from Moro Russian, and now we have to see what's going on here. I'm going to go knight a5 and put the pres more pressure on c4. Rook c1 from tired dad, c5 must be right. Uh, a5 from dark knight, and I'm starting to snatch pawns. Um, bishop takes g4 looks right, although... If I go h6 first, if I go h6 first, maybe I could get both of them. And also, is king c4 a good move, trying to take them on the other side? 
King C4 looks like the best move. There are pawns hanging all over the place. Rook A E1 from Talikin, and I'm just going to play, let's see, looks like C something normal like C6 looks okay. Sox Gambit, controversial or not? Sox Gambit has gone pawn to B4, and now I'm going to see if I could double rooks on the A file, or should I double rooks on the C file? Well, let's see, if I line up on the C file, do I? can I make a threat? Hmm. Interesting move. I got to be careful. I don't want to go knight to b6, and I don't want to go d5 because he goes into c5. So how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to try to to go rook a6 and double on the a file and see if I can bother him a little bit. Pawn to g5 from dark knight. I will take that one. Thank you. Uh, and now rook to g1 from Lounce. and I feel like this game is just about over. Uh, knight takes e5. Looks uh, like a simple move for me to play doing defense. Eric Moore, knight to d4, so he's going to try to defend. I'm going to go rook c8 and pile on. a4 from Rainbow Bear, down a rook, playing like nothing happened. Okay, so b6, and a6 from Dark Knight. And now I have to see what is the best way for me to do this. Um, I have his knight box down. I just have to make sure that I don't lose a piece in some kind of weird way. Uh, I'm almost thinking of king to d4 to box his king out. Okay, Lao has gone queen g2, but his sacrifices seem to be gone. Nothing, no sacrifices on g6. So how about I just play rook to h8 and start to maybe bother him with a counterattack. Uh, b5 from... No main line. And now I'm wondering if I could dump myself into C3 here. Let's see. Can I do that? I don't know. Probably not. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to go A6 and stop that for a second. Uh, pawn, Merlin has gone pawn to B4, and I shall exchange on E4 first. Uh, Rainbow Bear, Queen to F3. I don't see any attacking business for him, so I'm just going to go A6. And now Dark Knight is pushing his pawns. Now, if he pushes his pawns the wrong way, um, I can. T now I have to make sure that when he goes b5, I have king to c5. Is that right? Yes. So I'm just going to go pawn to g4 and cement my bishop in there. J Russell with rook to c1 and just defending seems seems pretty normal. And I'm going to go h6, give my king some air. Queen a7 from Lao Tse, and now what's to keep me from doing any number of things here? Um, the most boring way for me to win is obviously to just go queen c6 check. Okay, pawn to b5, and I'll go king to c5, and I think dark knight is about done. Rook to d2 from Pascalino. And, uh, and what's he trying to do to me? I'm thinking of just going bishop to e3 and d4 or something like that. Knight c5 from J. Russell, and let's see, uh, I guess I'll, now, what's he trying to do to me here is a good question. Uh, maybe, uh, let's see, if I go knight to c5, is that really threatening to take the pawn, and how will he bother me? Okay, I'm going to try, if I go knight to c5, though, mm, not sure. Not sure what the story is there. I'm thinking of going, I'm, I think I'm going to try rook to a3. Okay, uh, so Merlin has gone, rook takes e4, and I'll put my knight into c4. Knight c4 looks like a nice place for a knight. Dr. Strange move has gone knight to d2. The longer his king stays in the middle, the happier I am. Is he trying to develop, to develop with bishop to c4? This is the big question here. Uh, I think he is. All right, so now I'm going to see, I'm going to go pawn to c6. Okay, mono Russian, Moro Russian, what he took, and now I go queen take, do I go queen takes d5? And what's going on here? Did he come out of this? Okay. Okay, uh, looks like Dark Knight is, is just um, fighting hard here, but not a st lot of stuff left. I'm going to go king to b6 and take that a7 pawn first. Rook A1 from J. Russell. 
And now I'm, I'm now I'm looking for tricks. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm checking. Uh, I, I guess I'll try rook a4. Put pressure on the e pawn. Talikin has gone knight g5, attacking my h pawn. I think I have to defend it with h6. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And that position looks okay for me. Maybe it's just about equal. Okay, I don't know what's going on. There's some games that people are up, and Talikin just tricked me badly. I hung my queen. Bishop h7, so I, I, I missed that. I probably had to go g6, so I got to resign that. So so two two losses there. I, knight takes h7, queen takes is a little bit ridiculous looking. Uh, and my king goes for a walk. I mean, uh, I could try it, but... It's bad. All right, I, I'm going to try it. What the heck? And then, and then if it doesn't, then I'll resign. So he's got me in with a couple there. Okay, Eric Moore is is defending himself here, and I'm going to go h6. Trying, still trying to pile on. Now, do I want to trade queens against Pascalino? Uh, that's the question. Uh, um, yeah, I think I'm going to trade queens and try and control the c file. Okay, King D4 from Dark Knight. I don't really understand this. I think I'm just winning pretty easily, and uh, and I, I I don't I don't really you know he he probably should just resign. It's and Knight E2 from Tired Dad, and I'll go Knight E4. That position looks okay. So I got uh, uh, so my friends, I got cheapoed in one game, but that's all right. Uh, it was a nice cheapo. And now Jay Russell, let me try Knight to C5. And king takes b5 from dark knight. Okay, and h4 against Sox Gambit. So Sox Gambit is tr trying to work on the other side. I'm going to double rooks on the a file. And what's the deal here with dark knight? I think I'm going to just go, well, I could just protect my g pawn. I'm just going to go in with my king, king to c4. No main line. Um, okay, he's gone. A4 to renew his threat. And how do I want to do this? I'm thinking about, all right, I think I'm going to try A5. Get some squares for my pieces. Okay, bishop takes. So trying to get trying to move, get some fast moving going on here. Um, okay, so Merlin has gone bishop to G3. I, I think I'm happy with my position in the game with Merlin. Starting to work on the other side, just like the other game. All right, now what's it? What's going on here with Eric Moore? There's all kinds of stuff. I mean, uh, he, he he he's having trouble unraveling. If I just go rook to c5 and double rooks, what's the deal? Am I getting my stuff back? Rook to c4 is that interesting, or does it, no? Then he has knight to d4. So I guess I want to go rook to c5. Okay, pawn takes pawn from Rainbow Bear, and I just go against Dark Knight, just king to d3, looks good. Trades queens against Tired Dad. Uh, a lot of pieces being traded in the game with Moro Russian. Um, and now, what do I want to do here against counterattack? I think I'm going to hit him with a5 myself and counterattack him. All right, Jay Russell is has gone rook e d1. I see what he's trying to do. I'm going to try bishop to g5 and see if I can take his e-pawn and defend my d-pawn during this business. All right, dark knight, I'm going to go bishop to f3, and then we're going to dance back and forth, but I seem to be gaining time every time that happens. Okay, knight take b3 from Jay Russell, and I'll take the e-pawn with my knight. I even have some threats. Dark knight, I don't know what's going on there. I mean, resigning seems like a good idea. That game went 58 moves. Wow. Okay, I'm going to make sure there's no stalemates. It's the only thing that can happen here. All right, give me a, qu uh, give me a uh, queen. Okay, and now uh, Dr. Strange move has gone king to e2. And now I think I'm going to go for a repair and see if I can get a repair job here by going king to h8. 
Okay, uh, Queen to D3 from Sox Gambit. And now, I was going to go Pawn Takes Pawn. Seems like the right thing to do. I'm looking at Queen to D5. So if I go Pawn Takes Pawn and I make him take back with that and then go Queen to C4, interesting business. Uh, I don't want to, I still don't want to go D5. I think I'm going to try Queen to D5 actually and, and improve my Queen and stop any threats. Okay, Merlin has hit me with A4. Time pressure on some of the boards against Merlin. I think I'm just going to go. What do I, how do I want to do this? Pawn to A, pawn takes A4. I'm going to go pawn takes B4 first. Maybe some shots with his Queen. We got to see. Okay. F4 from Eric Moore. Now, I, am I getting my material back here? He'll have a pass B pawn. Okay, I'm going to go rook to C1. I think I'm getting my pieces back. Uh, Moore, a Russian, has gone knight to D4. And I'm wondering, can I just go E5? Send his knight somewhere. And... Looks like Bishop D2 is the enemy in the Talican game because Queen H8 may. So, all right, I mean, it, I wasn't alert there for the Bishop H7, so good game. Uh, castles from counterattack, and now the whole side seems to be collapsing here. And I wonder what, what, what kind of position is that going to lead to? Okay, knight, knight to... Knight to e5 from uh, no main line. That looks like a good move. Threatening threatening my pawn on d4. Threatening a couple of pawns. All right, so I'm going to try knight to e3. I think I have to try. King to d2 from Eric Moore. And now what's going on here? This is becoming a little messy. Bishop takes, okay, uh, first, first things first, I'm going to look at d5. D4, uh, Bishop takes, takes, he takes back with the Rook. Okay, so if I go D4 first, he takes with the Knight. His King still looks very weird out there. Um, I don't know. Um, is it possible? Should I try E5? I'm going to try E5. Okay, J. Russell has gone Rook F1, and now I've got, I've gotten some pawns here, so I'm pretty happy about this. So I think I'm going to go Rook back to c4 and hassle that c4 pawn okay f6 or more russian and now what's what is my best way to defend this pawn uh tactical ways or or positional ways i think i'm looking at knight to b3 i think i'm going to try rook, rook rook to d8 and see what what's going on with that all right okay so now Counterattack, our sides have gotten collapsed. I'm going to try to take with the knight and see if I can put some knights on his face. And now what is going on here with Merlin? Merlin, do I, I don't have any nice discoveries. Is that what you're telling me? I mean, come on. Okay, let's see. If I went d5, where will his rook go? d5 and his rook goes although should i just go knight to b6 and be happy with the a pawn i think that's what i'm gonna do knight to b6 and be happy with the a pawn that seems like the most normal thing to do bishop c2 from tired dad and i think i'm just gonna go uh rook a to d8 and defend my try to defend my people counter attack the entire side has been blown out and now I'm trying to see, can I put my knights on his face? Well, can I, is there any way to bother him? Or is that just nothing doing? G3 from J. Russell, and I think I'm going to take another pawn on, on C2. Knight C6 from no main line, so he's going to have a pass pawn, but I'm going to see if I can block it, unless he takes back with the rook. So time pressure all over. The simul has been going for about an hour and 40, something like that, so... Not bad. I got a couple of losses already, a couple of bad losses, but but I'm going to try. If I could, I, I think if I could get my usual score with the black pieces. Also, if the people want, I, I, I don't mind. Uh, I, I don't mind it for next month either. Although today something got messed up a little bit because of uh, of the the colors. I was, you know, we were supposed to have slight time odds. And I have a feeling if there was slight time odds that, uh, my score might have been a lot different than what it is now. Um, okay, now 
Jay Russell, what's happening? Can I start to get my deep pawn going? Okay, more Russian has gone pawn to b4. And I guess I just go back. Knight to c6, defend that pin with the knight on b5. Looks like it's under control. Okay, and now Dr. Strange move has gone queen to g4. And and I want to I'm hoping to chase his queen off that bishop so I can get queen to d3 check in. So I'm gonna go f5. Okay, bishop to e now what has happened against J. Russell here? Wow, okay, I'm gonna go bishop e3 check. I think this one's almost over. Uh Moral Russian has protected his bishop. And what's now what sort of move do I play here to improve my position? Maybe just something like rook to d7. I think this position turned out to be pretty equal. I think that I must, I feel like I must have missed something. And I think Jay Russell just got mated with knight takes g3 mate. Uh, Sox has gone, uh, Gambit has gone rook ec1. And the big thing for me here is, I mean, I just wonder, like, uh, am, am I ever going to place for f5 or something? You know, I mean, that's that's what I'm wondering. And I can make, if, if I take, he has to take back with the C pawn. And maybe, maybe that's the way to do it. And then, and then can I do that? I, I'm going to take back, with, make him take back with the C pawn and then see what the situation is here. Okay, Dr. Strange move. I'm going to attack his queen with bishop to E7. And, and I think it looks very nice for me now. I think I'm happy about this situation. And we got to see no main line. I have potential for, for a pass pawn myself, and I think I'm going to have to try to work on that because otherwise his pass pawn could get really strong. Okay, bishop to g7 from Sox Gambit and from me. And now um, more Russian. I think I'm just going to go f6 and defend my pawn. And time pressure is not so bad here. Okay, now um, Queen Eric Moore, I've got him all tied up, but... How to add more fuel to the fire? Uh, I think I'm just going to go queen takes e5 and try and keep him from developing. Queen d2 from Merlin. Uh, Merlin does Merlin have any threats? Do I want to just go, what, take take on, let me just take with on a4 with my knight, keep my structure solid. g4 from, from Moro Russian, and um, do I want to, um, I think I'm going to start coming up with my king. Okay, now is Dr. Strange move done after Bishop takes C4 check? And King to D3 from Eric Moore. So I think I think against Eric Moore, if I want to draw, I have it with Queen F5 check. Uh that's the question there. But you know, he's still he's still really tied to C3, so I'm looking if I can play rook to C4 here. Um, if his knight moves, rook takes c3, I can count that out. Same thing for knight d4, rook takes, rook takes, rook takes. So I, I think I'm going to try rook to c4 and see what's going on there. Okay, uh, knights, uh, I'm, I'm putting knights all over the face against counterattack, but I don't know if that, I don't know if it's accomplishing a thing. Bishop check on c5 and then some kind of, up. Oh, knight e3 wins the g4 pawn. Okay, I'll go for that. That looks good. Okay, all of a sudden Merlin is trying to mate me with uh, with his queen on g6, and I'm just going to go bishop g7 and boot his queen out of there and try and defend. Queen d3 check from this, now tired dad. My position against tired dad looks looks pretty solid for me. Um, rook c1 from, uh, from Moro Russian, and let's see. Uh, what's, what's a good, what kind of plan do I have here? Uh, rook to c8 plans, or, I don't know, I think I'm going to double on the d file and see if I could bother him some. Okay, Dr. Strange move has gone king to f3, and I'm going to go queen e4 check. Queen g5 trade from Merlin, I'm, I'm happy to trade queens. Okay, queen c1 from no main line, and he's uh, after my e pawn. But to tell you the truth, I mean, I think I'm more concerned about making my own pass pawn here and getting some counterplay like that. So I really don't feel like dropping that pawn off. His, I mean, it's a pawn, and I don't really feel like it's that big a deal to me. Okay, now 
against Merlin. I, I, D5 looks like a good move for me. Let me go H6 first so that his knight doesn't bother me. And Moro Russian is coming up with his king. And now I'm just trying to figure out what am I doing on the D file here. I think I'm going to go rook to D3 and see if I can tie Moro Russian up a little bit. Maybe get some play against the A3 pawn or something. I think that probably we have to say that this position is pretty equal. Um, he offered me a draw, but I didn't hear it or see it, so sorry. But I like to play anyway. Um, it's 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 uh, it's good to play in these. You know, I always try to play the simul games. Uh, Bishop to B5 from tired dad, and looks up uh, pinning. Okay, and now if I just get unpin with A6, C5 is still defended. I think I'm going to do that. Just go A6 there and unpin. Uh, more Russian has played. Doubled rooks on the C file. And uh, and that could be I don't know, is that gonna bother me at all? Or or what's the story, you know, what's the situation there? Uh, any tricks? Um should I if, if I retreat my knight, I, I really don't want to go backwards here. Um should I I'm thinking of coming up with my king, and then if I come up with my king and he bothers my knight, what's going on there? A5 could be the right move. Okay, I'm going to go A5. I think that's the right move. Let's bother his queen side a little bit. Maybe maybe I can loosen it up, find some squares for my pieces. It'll keep his knight. It'll keep his knight on C3 from moving. He could try to send me off backwards with knight to E1. Okay, tired dad, bishop takes uh D7 and I shall go queen takes D7. Uh, rook to b1 from counterattack, and let's see, is anything bothering him here? I think I'm just going to snatch this pawn on g4, and then see if I can regroup after that. Pawn to b5 for more Russian, and now, okay, I was going to play knight to a7 to tie him up. I don't know. Let me try knight to b8 uh, and see if, if my knight could get to c5, I would be very happy. And we have to see if he can bother me with, with, with his, you know, it's a question of here if he can bother my my B6 pawn or not uh, while I'm bothering his A3 pawn. Okay, Bishop Knight D6 from counterattack. And now, okay, do I have to be a little bit careful of any, what do I have to be careful of here? Of some rook coming in on the 7th possibly. Uh, let's see, so, uh, let me trade the rooks on the A file. Pawn takes B5, I got my pass pawn in that game, now, uh, bishop to G7, knight takes D6 from Sox Gambit. Interesting, so he's hoping his two pass pawns bother me, okay, I'm gonna go rook takes D6, well, well, you rook takes D6, I just saw rook to C5, does that do something? No. Okay, so, so rook takes A4 from... For Moro Russian, and I'm going to go knight to d7, I think. I'm looking at other moves. Okay, knight to d7 looks okay. And now for counterattack, what's the deal here? If I go, let's say if I go rook. Now, I think I'm just going to go knight back to b4 and try and put a knight on d5 and defend my, and, and, and defend my bishop a little bit. Try to get my pass pawn going. And now against Merlin, can I go d5 and pick up another pawn? Okay, uh, knight e4 from more Russian. And now I have to see how is he bothering me here. Uh, I'm, I was thinking of just going in to uh, just trying to take his a3 pawn with, uh, rook, with his a pawn with uh, rook to a3. Queen takes d6 from Sox Gambit. I could get fancy here, but nah, bishop takes d4 is crazy. Uh, h3 from tired dad. All right, now I got to see what what am I up to here? What am I trying to do? Queen to b5 ideas. Pawn to, is pawn to c4 right? I think I'm going to try to get my queen side going there. Usually I don't like that kind of thing. Okay, now what's happening here with, uh, with Eric Moore? Is he trying to get his rook involved from the side? Okay, if I go pawn takes, hmm, if I go pawn takes a4, well, 
Pawn to a4 is very interesting in the Eric Moore game. Let me try that. Well, I mean, I hope my bishop doesn't get loose later. We'll see. And now uh, Merlin has gone. So if I snatch another pawn, what's his idea? Okay, I'm going to snatch b4 also. Knight to d5 from counterattack. Protect my bishop. Try and drive his knight out at some point. Maybe win the d-pawn, try to go up two pawns. I don't know if I ever get an open file, if I get my two knights and rook and make mating threats. Um, I don't really think so. So still have to be careful in, in this game. Queen takes b5 from Sox Gambit, okay. And I'm just going to go bishop takes d4. I'm hoping that my counterattack with my, with my strong bishop is going to help me out here. Rook to b3 from Merlin. And I was just going to go bishop to c3 and try and be greedy about this. Rook to c4. No, rook to c4. He might have knight e5. Uh, so what's the deal there? So I'm going to go bishop to c3. Okay, rook to b1 from no main line. Okay, and now I'm just threatening. To, I, I'm wondering if I should just push my pawn again. Is my pawn is getting close. If he goes rook b5, he's going to have to give up a rook. So I'm just going to push my pawn to a3, and that guy got down there very fast. Rook c4 from Moro Russian. And now what's happening here? How do I improve my position in this in this game? I, I'm not. Don't know if I'm so excited to get my king up there. I think I'm going to try. Let's see. Do I want to try rook to c2? What's a good way for me to organize my knights? I, I don't know about this knight to g6 stuff, if that does something. Knight, I, I'm not sure. Then he might get a knight to... All right, I'm going to try some knight to g6 stuff. Although, if his rook gets to c2, what's going on? Not really sure here. Rook to h8 gets out of the way, but then I'm afraid I'm afraid of leaving the d file. Um, how about... How about knight to f8? Try and reorganize. All right, Eric Moore, what's happening? Do I want to push my pawn again? I push my pawn again. He goes up with the queen. What what, what have I done here? Um, he's still all pinned. Queen f5 check. I, I don't know what it does. Um, okay, now this time his queen is pinned. So this is an interesting situation. His queen is pinned. So I'm I'm looking at I I was thinking about all of a sudden maybe if I switch to the e file, but then he might have rook h3. And if I switch to the d file, whatever trying to go pawn to d4, that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to try rook to d8. Okay, knight to d knight knight to d4 from. Counter attack, and let's see, uh, he's bothering my bishop. Is he threatening knight to c6? Knight to c6 could be a little annoying. Um, and, okay, I'm thinking of trying, I'm, I'm a little worried about his passed pawn if I take on d6. So I have to figure out what's what is the right way for me to do this. I think that I probably have to take... Do I have to take on on d6 and then put a knight on f6? But then he puts a knight on c3. So I'm not, I, I don't know. He's getting some annoying kind of play here. Um, if I go rook to b8, I get forked. And then when a king comes, I, I get a check and his king comes up. So that's, that's, that's not so, that's not so easy. Um, so knight c6 is, is a little annoying. All right. Oh, okay. Hold on. Something just popped up here. I'm going to try bishop to b6. Maybe that's a good uh, uh, way to, to uh, get off the diagonal. Knight e5 from Dr. Tired Dad chasing my queen away. I guess back to e7. Bishop c3, rook takes b5 from Merlin. I think he hung a rook. Uh, rook to d1 from Sox Gambit pinning me. And now I have to see, uh, um, do I have any fancy stuff or should I just go e5? Looking at queen f4, I think I'm just going to go e5 and cement my bishop there and then try to take advantage. 
Uh, more Russian has uh, offered a trade of rooks, so I'm going to do that. And now let's see what happens with Eric Moore. I thought my idea was to be, was was had something to do with pawn to d4. And is that going to work? That's that's what we're about to find out. All right. Now, I probably still have some draw here with queen f5. So let's see what, what to do here. I'm looking at d4. Rook takes, rook takes, and it's a messy position. I think I'm going to try it. Why not? Okay. Uh, rook b7 from counterattack, and I'm going to go bishop to b6 and pin him. Okay, uh, 95 from no main line, uh-huh, so he stops my pawn like that. If I go a2, he goes rook to a1, so I want to keep my pawn, so what, what, how do I do this here? Uh, maybe I just go rook to a5 and try and defend everybody, and see if I could double my rooks later on. Oh, some pretty exciting games and, uh, you know, lost a couple badly. But I think with the black pieces, what can you do, you know? Okay, at least I got counterattack moving backwards now. That's a good sign. And now uh, what sort of move should I play here? Should I just go h5 and come out slowly? I think all my stuff is defended. Uh, let's see, more Russian. Um, do I... I I have to be a little careful here. Is he ever going to bother me with... No, I think I go king back to e6, and I think I'm okay there. Uh, king to c4. King takes c4 from Eric Moore, and, and I'm going to go queen c5 check. Uh, Tar Dad is putting some knights on my face. I don't know. Is it really bothering me? I'm going to get my queenside pawns going. And king back to c2 from Eric Moore. And now I go pawn takes c3, discovered check. And is that is that the game? Very tactical game, but uh, turned out pretty nice. And, uh, and, and 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 what kind of? Okay, so he has knight d4, and I take his queen, and he takes my queen, and I make a queen. Is that right? Um, I actually, um, I, I, I had a good time with the Simon with Black. If everybody liked it, I'll do it again next month. I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't mind it at all. So I, I'm not sure, Eric Moore, the whole, the, the, the peace sacrifice might just be strong, might be pretty good for me. Okay, now uh, let's see what's going on here with, with more Russian. Um, if I play Rook to C8... I don't know. Moro Russian still wants a draw. I would certainly not have a problem with it. Uh, so I'm going to go Rook C8 and, and offer Moro Russian a draw if he wants it. It's hard for me to. I have to offer a draw before I make the move. Otherwise, I'm offering the draw on the wrong board. Uh, okay. So now let's see. Uh, counter attack. Is my knight on H6 better, or do I want it on E3? That's the question. Okay. Knight to e3. Okay, I'm, I think I'm going to try to go forward and go with knight to e3. All right, let's see what's happening here. I'm threatening, I guess I'm threatening maybe something like knight f5 to trade some pieces. On bishop f2, I, I was intending uh, to go uh, knight to d1. So, you know, bother, chase the bishop off the diagonal again. My king is safe, that's for sure. His king, I don't know. I mean, I, I suppose maybe somehow I could get lucky and some mating attack could show up. Um counterattack offered me a draw but really he shouldn't be offering me a draw and now I'm going to offer a draw to more Russian you know when, when people are in lost positions it's not polite to offer the draws okay I, I just want to you know I just would like to you know say that so when we're in the simul I mean I'm not going to you know I can't hand out all the draws I don't think my, my, my bosses at ICC would like that too much 
So offer draws only if the position is is maybe something like a draw. Okay, queen to g4 from um, from tired dad. And let's see, uh, is he making any threats? Uh, looking at stuff, I think I'm just going to keep going with my pawn to b4. I'm not scared yet. Going to try and make a pass pawn over there. I'm, a, I'm ahead on the clock against tired dad, which is a good thing. It's an assignment, not, not, you know, doesn't happen too often. Hold on. A Bruce Springsteen song has started. I like Bruce Springsteen, but not in the middle of the simul. Okay, so uh, Sonks Gambit has gone Rook A, C1, and I'm thinking of taking on, on uh, I'm thinking, why can't I take another pawn on A3? Uh does it does he bother me with something okay i'm snatching another pawn on a3 uh no main line has gone rook a2 he's he's uh stopped my past pawn and now i'm looking uh, and now since my past pawn is stopped i want to see are there any situations where i can do something to his past pawn so i'm going to go rook c8 and pile on his past pawn so maybe there's going to be some deal where our past pawns all get taken now did counterattack just blunder? Um, if I go knight to f5, what happens? So I'm doing knight to f5. Rook to c8 check. His b pawn was born to run. <laughs> Very good, uh, uh, Sox Gambit. I enjoyed that. But we're going to see about that because it looks like it might get stuck in the mud. And if it does... It's going to be it for the Sox. It's been a bad, bad year for the Sox fans, and hopefully it's going to be a bad <laughs> bad day for Sox Gambit. But uh, but it was a, but, but the Simul was a lot of fun here, I mean, and, and uh, going for about two hours. And, and let's see what Sox Gambit is up to here. I like my position. Um, I think my king is safe, and it's four to four. Um, his king is a little loose with that pawn on h4. So I'm going to see if I can turn this around and, and come up with some sort of mate. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Very nice. Rook to d7 from Sox Gambit. But did he overlook something? We got to see. What what would what would the nice one be here? I'm feeling I'm feeling like I got a nice nice situation going on here. Um, the first thing I'm looking at is Bishop takes f2. King takes f2, queen takes d1, and he takes d7. What is the, what's my deal there? Uh, other thing I'm looking at is queen takes, queen to f6. Hmm? All right, I like queen to f6. So rook takes b6 from counterattack. I took back. So I won the exchange there. Tired dad, I'm advancing my past pawns on the queen's side. Knight takes f5. I take it back. Counterattack. I'm up the exchange and a pawn with a very solid position. So I think that one uh, looks like one for me. All right, g6, just defending my g pawn, not giving any stuff for free. And then I'm just going to maneuver my knight around and see if I can hassle him. Uh, see where my knight belongs best, maybe on the e6 square. And after that, see what can happen. Okay, uh, bishop to g5. I'm going to go knight to d5 against counterattack. So that feels pretty nice. And then I'll uh, get swing my rook into the game from the a file. I guess the the longest uh, way away. I don't know what happened with the Sox fan. The game might still be going. He could have resigned, in which case not only did the Sox have a bad year, but he had a bad day. But if he's a Patriots fan, uh, fan he's happy. So, you know, the, 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 at least if you're a Red Sox fan, you probably root for the Patriots, and, and that sort of offsets it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going Rook A8 against counterattack. Uh, tired dad, uh, I'm going to keep on pushing. And now, okay, rook b e1. Now, now here's, here's the question of, of the, what to do here. 
against no main line. I, I, I'm wondering if I if I go bishop takes e5, if I can just make a draw here. Uh, and, and I think I'm happy to do that because that game, uh, so I'm going to go bishop takes e5, and let's see how this turns out. Looks pretty solid. And then I'm going to take on c6. And now counterattack. I just have to be careful. Counterattack has his king in a position where sometimes he could get stalemated. I'm going to try this one first. I'm going to look to f3 and see if I can snatch another pawn. Um, if, uh, if, if Sandro lets me, I'll do a simul next month, uh, with the black pieces too. I, I actually think that, uh, I, I don't know. I had a good time, uh, playing the black pieces and I think it was pretty good, uh, um, pretty good practice. So, uh, I don't have a problem. I know that people were complaining about it last, last month. I, I, I really didn't mind them, you know, complaining about it. I understand the situation. Okay, now let's see what happened. Tired Dad is sacked a piece. You know, Tired Dad, I think you would have been better off just hanging out and playing normal stuff here. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so knight takes d4. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sack on f2 counter sack. Does he have to take it? I think he does. I can't see a good spot for the queen to go. Okay, queen takes, bishop takes c6 from no main line. And I'm just going to go queen takes c6. Now, I could be, well, I mean, I could be down a pawn in a, uh, in, in a, um, uh, in an ending. Now, I'm looking to see if, if there's anything t based on, uh, rook takes e5, but I, I don't think so. So, okay, so I'm going to go queen takes c6, and I think I'm going to be down a pawn and a rook ending with everything on the same side. So we'll have to see how that works out, you know, whether, I'm, whether I can draw that or not. Uh, that would be potential for, you know, that would be potential for a pass pawn. Now, it feels like to me that I should, since his king is a little loose, that I should just, you know, take it easy with it and keep, you know, keep, queens and rooks on for a while uh if he were to try to make a pass deep one then his king gets even looser so i think that's maybe my best way to try and draw i just pinned tired dad's rook uh now what is the story here with counter attack he's gonna get some knight f6 check in uh i think that i'm just gonna i think i'm just gonna go king to f7 King F8, sorry, and just do that. Okay, Rook A7 for no main line. So no, he's going to get some sort of counterattack near me. Uh, so I'm just going to go Rook to B8 and see what happens. Keep some pieces on. Okay, Sox Gambit. Uh, let's see what to do here. Uh, I think I just take on D4. Knight back to f6 from counterattack. Now, has he concocted any weird stalemate thing? I don't think so. I'm mean, He goes knight f6, and I'm just going to bring my king around. Bishop a f takes f6 is a rook takes f4. And my king will, I'm, I just, you know, I'm going to make sure I don't stalemate him. I, I I can sack the exchange in some kind of ways. Maybe I can sack it on F6. Okay, knight E2 for tired dad. Uh-huh. And uh, and that's uh, that looks like a good move for him. Uh, let's see now. How, is there any way for me to, to put up the pressure here? Or should I just take his rook? Or right, I'm just going to take his... I'm just going to take his rook. It seems like I'm up the exchange there. Why, why get fancy? Rook takes D7... From Sox Gambit, Rook A1 check. What's going on? Queen D4 from no main line. Uh, now, I don't know. If I flood the back rank, what's the deal? He'll get a Queen D8 check probably, right? 
So I can put put it on the back rank, but then he gets queen d8 and queen f6, and I get mated. So I have to be a little careful of how I do this. So mm, should I just go king to g7, and then he's going to trade queens in some sort of way? If I wanted to trade queens, I could trade queens with b6, Queen, you know, trade on b6. There were still dreams of mates here, but I don't think so. Okay, if, if I went queen, let, let's say I go queen to, all right, let me try this. I'm going to go queen to c1. I just have to make sure I can defend the mate there. Okay, and now king h2, and I think I just mated uh, uh, Sox, our favorite Sox fan. And now what to do with Tara Dad? I feel like a rook lift would be nice for me. Uh, how about rook to? How about rook to uh, d6? Make sure I don't hang anything late in the simul. Anything is possible. Okay, and now there's king g2 from no main line. Let me check him again for the heck of it. Can he really go up? the board. I don't know. I mean, as long as I'm able to defend the mate on F7 with rook to F8, I'm happy. So he probably can. Uh, and then I got to see what I'm up to here. You know, I mean, I, but but I I think that it's, it's still, this is going to be, we're in for a long one here. He's up a pawn with potential for making a, you know, getting pawns up to E4 and D4 and then playing D5 and making a pass pawn. So that would be, you know, that that's that's his ideal thing there. Mine mine is really I just have to hang around and try to hassle him and be also ready to defend. Uh really I, I don't know. I mean I, I should probably maybe be happy to trade queens. Uh in in you know, I mean maybe I should have even gone queen to b six when it was pinned and you know, try to draw that rook ending. Okay. Now I don't know what has he what what is the what happens here if I go queen to h1 I'm going to try queen to h1 just to just to see how he defends this guy okay counterattack has a bishop so there's no stalemate so I'm going to bring my king around okay queen to h4 from no main line all right and now if I go rook to the 8 he mates me just like he did before with rook check, well, hold on. Yes, he does it with queen d8 check and then queen f6. So I can't, I cannot leave the back rank here. So I have to find some other move here. Um, it's really not a lot of rook moves for me. Maybe, I, I, I don't know, do I want to go queen, I mean, queen back to b8 maybe? All right, let me, let me go queen back. Let's see, queen c1 or queen b1. Let me go queen b1. So what I just did there didn't accomplish a whole heck of a lot. Just testing, and he defended. And yeah, I I did counterattack, resigning. Um, I think I'm I'm probably going to try to get my king to g2, as long as I don't sacrifice the exchange on f4. If I wanted to, I could sacrifice the exchange on uh, on e6 there. Okay, what's happening with Tired Dad? Tired Dad's getting himself into some bad time pressure. He's going king to e1. <clears throat> and now I got to see. I have various things to do. I think I'm just going to triple on his knight. Okay, queen to f4 from no main line. I'm going to go queen to b6 check. And I think this time I'm going to probably... Well... I don't need to trade the queens yet, actually. Maybe, maybe, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe leaving the queens on is bothering him a lot, so I'm just going to try queen to b1 again. And, you know, I'm just trying to draw here at this point. I mean, the queen ending, the rook ending is a possibility. If, if that happens, we'll have to see if we could draw that and see what the story is with these positions. Rook c2 from tired dad. And um okay. Now how do I how do I get in here? How do I bother him? 
Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Easy. I think easy. Queen two. G1 check. And I think that should do it. So tired dad hung in there all right. It was just that uh, no reason no reason to go knight takes c4, I think. You know, I mean, I didn't. I didn't really understand why 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 you did that one. I didn't think you really needed to. Okay, uh, no main line has gone king to g two. You know, I I think I think I'm going to try out the queen, the the, uh, the rook ending finally and just go queen to b six because I'm worried about some position where I get tied up with my rook on f eight. So I think I'm just going to go queen b six and get rid of that. Okay, so now tired dad rook takes e two check. And that should do that should do it for that one. Rook takes b6, and now we're going to be in for a long struggle here in this rook ending with no main line. And I'm going to try to hassle his pawns and his king. He's going to try to make a pass d pawn. So we're going to see how this one turns out. Okay, he's coming up with his king. I guess I'll come up with my king. Okay, I got I got a lot of pawns here against Tarab Dad. He's got a rook. I got a queen. I'm, I feel very good about this. I think it's just going to be yep. And uh, but Tarab Dad, I think you had to not go knight takes c4 and sack. I think you had to hang out and just you know and just play that and just see what happens. Okay, now in this no main line, am I ever tempted here to like go for any crazy active play? Or, or am I just supposed to hang out here and do nothing? So the way for me to hang out would be something like, let's say, rook to d3. The way to get greedy and try to do something would probably be g5. Although, I don't know, if my king comes up. All right, I don't think g5 hurts anything, so I think I'm going to do it. Let's see how he makes progress here. I'm going to try and hassle his kingside pawns. And, and you know, ideally what he would like to do is somehow get a pawn on e4, a pawn on d4, and a pawn on d5 and make a pass pawn. I don't know. If he doesn't make a pass pawn, what can he do? That's, that's, that's the big question. Okay. I'm thinking about here, Rook to, if, I, if I hassle his h pawn, how does that work? So uh, uh, let's see, rook, rook to, all right, now I just saw something that I have to be a little bit careful of. Um, if He could be threatening d3, d5 now, pawn takes and e6 if I were to move my rook away. So I'm going to go king to g6. It would be nice if he got in a little bit of time pressure, maybe force him to play this a little bit inaccurately. But, uh, I mean, so far, you know, I mean, rook endings are, are the kind of endings that are best if you're down a pawn. You know, I'll just see here if, if I'm, am I ever, am I trying to be active here? What am I doing? Uh, that's, you know, that, that depends on what, what he does with his pieces. So it was a, you know, if, if this is the last game, I think it is. Um, so pretty good sign. Well, went by pretty fast. Too. Last game, thank you, Sandro. So it's, it's, uh, you know, it's an interesting business here now. Uh, I'm going to see if I could hassle his H pawn. I'm going to go rook to B two and see if I could get if that's decent counterplay. Whether I can actually snatch that pawn and get away with it. You know, in the meantime, he could be making pass pawns. So I'm not 100% convinced about this. Uh, the big question is, let's say he plays something like E4 here. And I go, you know, then I have to see. Maybe I can just make a draw fast with Rook to B3 check and just keep checking him and bothering his pawns. Uh, if he were to get a pass D pawn, well, I don't know. My king is really not that close to stopping it. Okay, so he's gone Rook to the 8th. Uh, trying to annoy me with some checks. And now, I don't know. If I go rook h2, he bothers me with some checks. I think I'm just going to go king to g7 here. Uh, just king to g7 and see see what, what, uh, what that does. 
just keep his rook from harassing me, and then just get ready to see if I can bother him some. I mean, that's pretty much the story in rook endings is a counterplay, just just to annoy the opponent, just to try to, to be active um, with, with, with the rooks and, you know, maybe maybe just get a lot of checks in. Uh, rook h2 here feels, it feels like some kind of threat, I think. Okay, so he went rook to a3, and now, okay, let me see here if I go rook to h2. Can I really snatch that pawn is going to be the question. Because while I'm snatching the pawn, my rook is getting messed up. So that's, you know, that's the big question here. Whether, like, let's say he moved his rook to b3 or something. You know, would would, would I be able to uh, go rook takes eight? Then I'd have to analyze rook takes h3. And then he could, you know, and then there could be a possibility for a king on pawn ending where he's got a pass pawn on d5. And I, I don't know, it's a protected pass pawn too. So, you know, snatching a pawn is not, okay. Now, I thought on this move that I, I almost had an immediate draw. Let me see if I'm right. I was going to go rook to d2. Let me see if I'm right about this. If this is an immediate draw or whether I'm on my rocker. If he goes king to e3, I go rook to g2. And the way his rook and king are positioned, he has to go king back to f3, and then I go rook to d2 again. So how will he make a move here that will let him make progress? So that was the game against no main line. This, his opening was very tough. Uh, it turned into like a Dutch reversed where I, I mistakenly probably should have paid a, a little bit more attention about putting my pawn on c6. So um, the Simon went by pretty fast, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try to do a quick review of all the games afterwards, you know, give a word or two about each game. And uh, and I don't know, am I drawing here or not? Let's, it's got him thinking, and that's always a good thing. So if he wanted to, well, if he can't go e3, what does he do? All right, he went king there. I'm going to go rook to g2. It seems like king f3 is the only move. I'm going rook d2 again. And did I manage to make the draw here? Rook to g2 again. And back. And, oh, he offered me a draw, and I didn't see it. Sorry. And, and I'll offer him a draw. And I'm very happy to draw that. So my record in the Simon was 14 wins, two draws, and two losses. Not bad. I'm better with black than I am with white. Okay, let me do a quick review here of, of these games. Uh, Counterattack. Well, I mean, Smith Moore, Gambit, and I just feel like, you know, I mean, the way I played, the, the way he played it, you could tell. Thank you, Counterattack. Thanks, everybody, for coming uh, to the Simul. Um, the way he played it, you could tell that, you know, when a queen when a queen takes D1 happens on move 8, you could already tell that black is better. So um, that was an inaccurate play in the opening from Counterattack. Uh, Tired Dad was doing very well in a Tartic over and then just played, you know, and just decided to sack a knight in a pretty sharp position on move 24. I don't think he had to do that. I think he just had to make some normal moves, but thank you, Tired Dad. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see who else here. Uh, Dr. Strange move. Uh, Dr. Strange move got his king stuck in the middle. And, and that was the problem there. And I, I would say, I would say his inaccurate move was pawn to c5 on move six. And then I broke up the chain and knight e4 was a pretty strong move from me, from me. And, and he was just in trouble after that. Uh, let's see uh, what else. Uh, uh, Eric, Eric Moore was, Eric Moore was the game I liked the most in the simul. Um, first dark night, dark night got him into, in, in, got himself into trouble too. Um, and, and it was in, well, actually it was very interesting game with dark Knight. Did. That was the game where he sacrifices with knight takes B5 and gets three pawns. And I feel like, you know, I feel like my coordination's better, but he just made a mistake. By by playing, um, what was the move that got him into trouble? I felt the first time I felt good in this game was when I went f5 because I'm starting to get play. Um, I think that probably on bishop to b7, if he just goes f3, uh, I think I like his position there with three pass pawns 
and and uh, and I have un- no coordination there. Uh, Eric Moore, that was the exciting game. I sacked the piece. Um, I think that's why they go queen c2. I think my piece stack was completely sound, and you could tell that he had a lot of trouble. He kept protecting the pin, but I kept piling on. And then at the end, I set up a pawn to d4, and I don't know if he could have stopped that in any kind of way. Um, with rook to, rook to d8. Um, next game was uh, Lao Tse. Um, Lao Tse, he, he, his opening with d5 was just suspicious. Although he he started scraping up compensation, but I still felt like I was okay. That was in a Grand Prix. And let's see who else. Um, no main line. That was the rook ending, tough rook ending there. He played very well. That was at Dutch. I spoke about that already. Uh, J. Russ, uh, let's see, Rainbow Bear. Um, he just lost the piece very early on, and his opening was inaccurate. Uh, usually you go C3, and it stops Bishop G4 because of a Queen B3 threat. So uh, look that up. It's C3 instead of Castles, and Bishop G4 is met by the Queen B3 forking B7 and F7. And that forces Black to get into some kind of French defense position. Uh, let's see. Um, Jay Russell, I, I mean, I thought I thought after he, um, um, yeah, Jay Russell says, want to be ready for the afterlife. May Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think that what Jay Russell did there was, um, I think even after the exchange sack, he just had to play solidly. I think his opening wasn't bad. And I wasn't sure about my exchange sacrifice, to tell you the truth, because usually when you get an exchange sack, you get more activity than what I did. Uh, made or die, that was a um, another, uh, well, it was a C3 Sicilian, but you get, and it was a book position after knight db4, but I feel like that's another position that was very good for black. And I think after knight a5, uh, you got to look this up. I think that black is just better already. So those Smith Moore declines, you have to, you know, be really careful what you're doing with them. Uh, Moro Russian, that was just a solid draw. Uh, very, you know, we both we both played solid moves. I thought early in the game I had some chances to go after him, and uh, and let's see, uh, any more? Let's see, counter attack. No, we saw that one. I think that covers it all. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the time. I had a good time, and if Sandro lets me, I'll take black again. Um, uh, and and it was very good practice for playing the back pieces, especially with my um, you know, very good Queen's Gambit uh, thing. Uh, Sox Gambit, you know, I thought Sox Gambit was very solid position there, except I didn't like 21b4, and I feel like the, the, there was another game with a very similar thing. Yes, Merlin did a similar thing, and be careful of those positions because I think Black just gets good games out of those kinds of Queens, slow Queens Indian things. Okay, um, I would like to thank ICC. Um, welcome. Um, uh, that concludes my... Uh, um, October 10th, uh, 2015, Simon Master Simon. I played black in the 20 games, only only lost two, uh, uh, only drew two. I think that's a pretty good Simon with the black pieces. And if Sandro lets me, like I said, I'll do it again. So this is GM John Fedorovich for Simon Master ICC. Thank you guys very much for playing, and thanks everyone who will watch or will be watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in November. Uh, Enjoy the Millionaire Tour and all of our other coverage. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much.